Opie and Anthony, Bill Burr in studio. And we were just discussing that, uh, well, it was Bill Burr's birthday yesterday, and he forgot. You pretty much forgot it was your birthday. You had to be yeah, reminded. I, I forgot until, uh, like, 12.30 a.m., like oh, the, basically the night the night before, my girlfriend sent me a text message. Happy birthday, baby. I was like, oh, yeah, that's oh. right. Oh, my God. But, dude, when was the last time? I mean, other than turning 21 so I could booze, they, the birthdays really kind of taper off. You yeah. kind of want the birthdays to slow down. Yeah. When that's, you're, yeah. When you're 15, 16, you're like, oh, man, I just want to be 18. You get to 18, oh, man, I just want to be 21. And then around 22, 23, you're like, all right, let's slow these fucking birthdays down. Yeah, exactly. It's what like, are you going to yeah. get that racetrack? Yeah, <laughs> push, pushing 30. What the fuck? Yeah. I just celebrated a birthday. I was telling you, but now I got to tell the audience. Uh, greatest turnout for my birthday ever. And it was a who gives a shit age. Meant nothing. But my house was completely filled with family and friends, right? Right. They were there to see my kid yeah. <laughs> that was born two weeks earlier. But they're of like, no, course. we're really, we're here for your birthday. Uh, no, you're not. Let's 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 cut to the chase. It's a weekend, and you're here to see uh, the kid. It's over. That's it's two like, weeks you know, old. It's like it's like you're, when you have a baby. It's like you're friends with a celebrity. All of a sudden, people are <laughs> just trying to worm their way in. Right. <laughs> so looking over your shoulder at the other. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Stand, standing there like I'm a fucking person too. <laughs> yeah. You went out for your birthday yeah. yesterday. You were telling us. Oh the... yeah, DeRose is opening for me. She dragged me out. Uh, Caroline's got me a cake, which was awesome. It was hilarious. Uh, by the end of the night, I had, I had a big birthday cake and a glass of whiskey in front of me. I'm like, oh, oh, this, this, this isn't going to end good. That doesn't go well <laughs> You drink the whiskey? Yeah, you don't get a hangover. But I, I don't, like, go, I don't go How hard. How the fuck man. do you not get a hangover with I don't whiskey? Know. I don't know. All right, uh, you want to hear the barroom logic? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would no, love to hear there's it. There's no sugar and, <laughs> and, and the DNA with the thing. And you're like, yeah. It's such bullshit. They say that with the sugary drinks. The sugary drinks cause the hangover. Yeah, because I find when uh, when I am, uh, when I do drink too many uh, uh, with whiskey, though, I don't, I definitely know I drank last night, but there's not that. Um, really? I'd be, yeah, I I, there's be not that moment of the the, the how many lethal whiskeys? weapon. I'm too old for this shit moment. <laughs> Wouldn't the sugar and the cake kind of contribute? Yeah, I think that that's what kind of killed. Well, me. yeah, that's that why he was, killed me. He was joking like that's all yeah. bullshit. Usually people I, yeah. don't have a birthday side. cake and whiskey. What a fucking but great then combination. People go, no, you got to drink clear. If all right, you drink clear right, right. Booze like vodka, then you're okay. The no next hangover. day. Yeah. That how does, how that many does. whiskeys are too many? Oh, Jesus. Wouldn't uh, one whiskey two. be too many? Two's too okay. many. At yeah. my age, two too many. So I, I had one, and then I, I switched over to Budweiser, which is like water to someone After like that. me. So I, and I, I had like half of that. And uh, I didn't know you were a whiskey drinker. I thought you were just a beer guy. No, I, I, I was drinking beer, and then I started getting a beer belly, and I was like, rather than be like, oh, I should probably quit drinking. <laughs> right, like, right. I need drinks. to pick an alcohol that isn't going to physically <laughs> show me what I'm doing to my body. <laughs> so then I did that thing. I heard that one. Dude, you drink the clear. Look, it looks like water. Right. Yeah. There's no calories in it. <laughs> yeah, so then I was a Belvedere guy for a while. I still every once in a while have that. But I got to admit, like, First time you have whiskey, it's, it's yeah, it's horrible. You feel like yes. you're drinking out of a dirty ashtray, it's and then terrible. the worst thing is you, when, you, when you develop a taste for it. You do develop a taste for it. Yeah, that's every, that, every that's, that's time I've tried back. whiskey, I'm like, that's who a the rough fuck would drink this? It's old granddad's whiskey. That just sounds like a whiskey. Yeah, yeah. old granddad. Old granddad's aged balls and <laughs> mesquite just hanging in this barrel. I uh, at what age do you stop drinking coke or, or ginger ale or something like that? Oh yeah, you got to put a mixture in it. Coke. Yeah, I don't. I can't drink a. You don't drink fucking. straight whiskey, right, Ant? No. Old granddad, that's something you drank. That was rough you drank shit. that when you were fifteen, sixteen, right? Yeah. I don't think uh, adults drink it, do they? they? Don't. I don't know. Do they? I don't think so. Jack Daniels whiskey. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. your generic mixing whiskey, and then make it. Yeah, that's all that. Then, yeah, then you get a yeah. problem, then you start reading up on it and the difference between whiskeys and scotches and single Again, malts. Whiskey and, aficionado is magazine. It, is, yeah, is it a blend? You, you drink Is that bourbon. A blend? You start smoking a cigar. Yeah. No, dude, I got no. I I kind of stay away from that. I, some <laughs> uh, this girl last night was drinking uh, tequila, and I almost oh, fucking puked on her yeah, just that, because that I had a, I had a rough one. Uh, the hell was it? I did my gig in Boston, and somebody I hadn't seen in a while showed up. So me, Joe, oh, and somebody else, fuck. and he starts going, "Come on!" Like he's he's one of these dudes who still parties like he's a sophomore in college. Oh, I hate you know. That. So we start going. Yeah. 
And you mean fucking, you hate that? You're the I guy. Hate, you're no, that guy. No. Yeah, I'm really, Anthony, what are you talking, talking about? Yeah. I'm really not. Uh, <laughs> Come on. I'm, I'm really not. I'm not. Look, 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 look at the complete of lack of eye guys. contact. I know. You can yeah. hang uh, with the best of them. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're the guy that tries to start a conga line with 50 guys with white hoods on their heads. <laughs> and you, you're the guy. You don't I'm realize not, that? I'm not shot You're the guy, guy. that could still... Yeah, but you're the guy that could still drink with the best of them. No, not well, shot. You just you I'll just still sip it drink, like a gentleman. A gentleman? Yeah. You sip tequila? That? Who sips oh, tequila? Not, no, not tequila. No, tequila oh, is right. all like fucking oh, yeah. shot. Yeah, I will not sit that. there and do shots of tequila all fucking Dude, night. Dude, it was so... No this way. This is how bad it was. And then DeRosa fucking on the slide was tapping out. He kept ordering waters. Motherfucker. So I thought like his shot was my shot. So I doubled up at one point and uh, oh. yeah. All I know is uh, I don't really remember coming home and I woke up the next day. There was not only puke in the toilet, there was a leaf from a tree. And I was in a city, and I don't ever remember being around any sort of a tree. It might have been a bay leaf. I don't know what it was. I don't remember having any food. That's... Wow. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what it is. It was fucking, it was fucking horrific. <laughs> Holy it shit. Was trip. It, was, it, was, uh, it was tequila. So, you know, so last night this girl standing there, you know, you're really funny. Yeah. You know, what's the name of your dog? You know, some... <laughs> Psycho accent, and she. Got, I was like, "Oh yeah, are you drinking water?" She goes, "No, it's tequila." And I, and I kind of leaned in, and I got a whiff of that. I was like, oh. "Ugh, that's right." Uh, I, I, no tequila. Everyone has their bad booze stories, and tequila is one, is one of one them for me. you. Oh yeah, waking up on the bathroom floor with tile marks on your face, and just kind of. Looking around, not knowing where you are, how you got there, <laughs> and it was all fucking about tequila. And that was back in the, the bath 80s. mat feels awesome. Yeah, he's just like, like oh, oh, yeah. let me just curl up in this uh, pubic hair. If you can't get your ass off the bathroom fucking floor and into bed because oh. you know you'll just puke. You know what though? That's horrid. Bill yeah. brings up a great point. The bath mat though, it feels like you're. Your bed spread. Yeah. Oh, in those conditions. And it's full in of those piss. conditions. It's just got piss like, on it. Oh, from, my God. Oh. The softest thing ever. It's disgusting <laughs> what's in there. I got to get back to the birthday cake. They you didn't wake they... up with, like, hypothermia. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I got to bring the birthday thing up again. So they didn't bring the cake on stage after the second show. Oh, yeah, they? with candles oh, and everything. Did. Oh, God. Candles and everything. I actually, I handled it quite well. Yeah. Although I messed up, I should have thanked Caroline's for all the years they headlined me when they have to had to pull that little shower curtain uh, because right. I, it was only me and five people in there. But I didn't. I just felt awkward in the moment, and then I was standing there, not even didn't make a wish, and the candles are burning down to the frosting. Mm. I was yeah, so thanks a lot. And then I'm walking away with this lit cake, and I was like, oh yeah, you're supposed to do. It. So then I blew it out, and then everybody, hey, yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah. Did they sing happy birthday to you. No, nah, I was a little bummed. Why didn't uh, they sing happy? The birthday? audience didn't. Yeah, no. I would have forced didn't. them to. Yeah, sing fucks. Well, you know what? Like your 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 sensibility has gone, Jim. You went out. You started doing the theaters, and uh, I don't know, not enough of the young guys. Mm. He used to, he was the king of that shit. He used to be able to start the audience to to hate you. Yeah, like he could mind fuck them into thinking that they didn't like. Like you'd stand back then if you did something even remotely edgy. Just sort of a medi medium joke. Jim would be in the back of the room and be like, oh. And he would just, he, and, and then these fucking sheep, next thing you know, you had the whole back of the crowd just groaning at your jokes. <laughs> what an asshole. He did that to me like 20 times before I figured out it was him. I was like, what the fuck? Do I have anger? Too much anger on Jesus stage? Jesus Christ, Jimmy. <laughs> so I've had it done to me. Uh, <laughs> no, it was funny. awesome. I was bombing at the strip one night and I knew it was Florentine because I actually caught him because he's, he was groaning and I heard him, Florentine, go, oh, man. And then, <laughs> <laughs> like he couldn't believe I just. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how effective it is. Yeah. I would never. Th I would never think to do that, but it works. It's like spreads. <laughs> like a Holy fucking shit. disease. It's the greatest thing I've ever. Keith Robinson in the cell. We get Keith all the time while he's hosting, and he'll do something. It's like, oh come on, and people are like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh what? God damn it! <laughs> too soon, motherfucker. Yeah, too soon. It's funny. <laughs> no matter what the reference is, too soon. Titanic. Oh come on, man. <laughs> so you went out for your birthday yesterday, Christian, uh, with 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 Joey. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, we all headed out, and uh, mm -hmm. and the things that happened happened. <laughs> Do you yeah. at least remember? No, no, no. I wasn't that bad. Dude, all I, had, I had one whiskey. I had a whiskey, a slice of birthday cake with a, a cannoli on the side, you know, because they want to do it up because it's your birthday, right? <laughs> and uh, and then I had, like, literally a third of a Budweiser. But my thing is, it's more that I, I ate that and drank that, and yeah. then I, I went home and got, like, four hours sleep. Mm. 
Ugh, it's nothing worse than looking at the clock when you're still out and going like, oh boy, oh shit, I got to be up and I'm really. You start thinking, all right, it's gonna take me 15 minutes to get home, get into bed, 20 minutes to come I down, sleep. Oh, now I'm fucked. <laughs> oh yeah, that was yeah. awful. Just woke up with like Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cucks. <laughs> Stupid fuck. How many times, yeah. Bill? Really? Uh, what time did you go to bed? Tourette's. Ah, uh, probably like two fifteen. Okay. Wasn't it's not too too bad, but well, it's bad when you have to yeah. do morning radio. If yeah. You, if you didn't have to be here, it's perfect. I was on the it's edge of the night. bed, sitting on the edge of the bed this morning when I got up, just going like, "Motherfucker, man, God, I want to." And then and then you always think the second I get home, I'm crawling right the fuck oh, back into bed exactly. and going to sleep. And then you get home and it's like, "Hey, it's Friday. I might as well start drinking." <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday, it's sunny. It's Friday, it's, I don't want to fucking sleep my summer. weekend away, so I don't sleep. And eh. you say that when it's Monday. Yes, that's true. Oh, fuck it. it's Monday, dude. That that already sleep very wide. That already happened to me. I uh, was it yesterday. I went out and uh, stayed out too late, and came in, did the show yesterday. So I'm tired. So uh, you know, I'm crashing with Joe, so I go in the bedroom, crash on the bed, and uh, he's in the other room, and for some, he doesn't have cable, he just has like a wall of DVDs. <laughs> he starts watching the Bob Saget roast, and every five seconds I hear this stupid giggle. <laughs> so I'm fucking putting the pillow in my ear, and right when I think I block everything out, they, they bring up, uh, they bring up, uh, what's his face there? Uh, Ross? Uh, no, no, no. Who's, who's the fucking guy? The, uh, I'm the worst with Norm names. McDonald? Norm MacDonald went up, and then that was getting him giggling because he was doing all old jokes. Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, right, okay. Don't you think that? <laughs> Fucking screaming all the way through. I what? finally just tapped out. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm getting no sleep. Fuck this. DeRosa doesn't have cable? Is he a cheapskate? No, he's like, he's, he's a, just an odd human being. I was going to he, say, he's, he's a weirdo. He's not into sports. And, but, dude, he's got the greatest DVD collection. He's got everything from, like, On Cannonball DVD. Run up to Goodfellas. He's got all the ones you want to see. And then you look at him and he's like, really, dude? He goes, oh, dude, Cannonball Run's great. It's great. We popped it in yesterday. I it's tried. It's fucking yeah. hilarious. <laughs> really? <laughs> dude, just how much fun you can see that they're having. The, the the level the girls you can just tell that, you know, we're getting banged on the set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the amount of cars that they wreck. It was the movie was directed by a stunt man, evidently. Yeah. Was that Hal Needham? I don't know who it was, Something but all I know is the yeah. first like three scenes, Burt Reynolds and them, like for some reason they're in a plane trying <laughs> to decide what kind of vehicle they need. They're in a plane and he's drinking Budweiser's and you hear him throw it back, hitting the empties, and this is considered funny back then. <laughs> yeah. You're hammered. Drunk flying. <laughs> yeah, flying a Cessna, and they're out of beer, so he lands on oh, a main lands, street. Yeah, and goes and, into a store. Yeah, and there's that classic scene, you know, with the stuntmen. You always you always gotta like the last second go, maybe I'll go right. No, I'm going left. No, I am going right. Yeah. That classic <laughs> they, vaudevillian. Yeah, <laughs> Burt Reynolds movies always had that. The fucking stunt guys. They had it in Smokey and the Bandit where two guys are standing chatting by uh, a gate right when the truck goes and oh, blasts yeah. through the gate. And they're talking and then all of a sudden they just bolt off in yeah. opposite directions. <laughs> like, oh, it's so stunt manny. Oh, yeah, the and collapsible then, tables. And the, the, the stuntmen that are driving for, like, Burt Reynolds and stuff, they they always do that move where they're shaking around a lot inside the car and making a lot of havoc with their hands so you don't see their face and realize it's not them <laughs> wearing a horrible the, Burt Reynolds wig. I was going to say, yeah, go by with an even worse toupee than, <laughs> yeah. than he's wearing. <laughs> uh, worst, the worst one is, is in uh, what the, is Malone. That's the worst toupee Burt Reynolds has. Oh, is that it? Dude, it's like a three-family house made out of hair <laughs> on top of his head. I said that yesterday. They, they go too high with yeah. the fake yeah. hair. Yeah, Shatner had a real bad one, too, for a while. That's where they and make then they the mistake. they kind of figured it out. Like, you see Shatner now, and you you're like, tell. he's got a very short haircut. and uh, He probably got the like, plugs. No, I think he's got, like, a system, a hair system. Where uh, they, they you can't tell, though. It's weird. Yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's long. that's Burt Reynolds. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it just looks. Look like, that up at home. The people. fucking oh, movie poster just looks <laughs> horrible. Looks like the front of a Lego God. box. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking horrid. That is some high ass hair. Was that a good movie? Uh, no, Malone. it was really his last good one before he did uh, uh, Boogie Night. I would say was Sharky's Machine. Yeah, wow. Sharky's Machine was machine. good. Yeah, he had a dry spell. So oh. DeRosa, no cable. Lots of DVDs. Yeah, no, and then he has Netflix. It's actually kind Netflix. of the, it's a smart way to go. 
Yeah, but you don't get things like... Uh, if you're not into sports, it's a great way to go. I like Discovery Channel. Why isn't he into sports? Dude, you know how dumb sports are when you really break it down? I mean, I love them, but I mean, I can't argue. Agreed. When I sit there and I, I look at the real housewives or whatever, how fucking stupid it is that my girl cares about that, but you know? Right. Why the, do we care so much about sports? I have to watch, like, the Lakers-Celtics on mute because I'm so into the Celtics that I'm convinced that the announcers hate my team. That's, okay. how, that's, that's, how that's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. And every, it, yeah. I can have it on for a minute and a half before I just start screaming at my TV. Wow. You Kevin like Garnett jinx? using one hand. You got to use two hands. What? The, you think he doesn't fucking know that? <laughs> He's that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then my girl's like, you cause tension. You cause tension in the house. So then I have to put it on mute. And then I just Holy sit there shit. hating everybody's face. On the other team. You can just Fucking tell by the face now. Pau Gasol's they hate face. Your team. <laughs> All of them. Back in the day when the Yankees Red Sox was when we could never beat him. Chuck Knobloch's face oh. when he would come up, that squinty look on his yeah, face. Yeah. His O C D ritual you didn't like when he would tap his hat and touch everything. Oh. He had yeah, an OCD no Nomar, so I'm sure it was just as annoying, but well, yeah. so you watched the Celtics last night. No, actually I had a uh it's a good game. I, I had a uh, I had the second show, so I did that oh, and, right. I, and I was actually relieved. I was relieved that I didn't I didn't emotionally go through it. And then when I came out and signed the DVDs, it was like a minute left, and I saw they were up by six and had the ball. Right. And I literally just went right up to fucking DEFCON 5, freaking out. I really enjoyed your show. Fucking Celtics! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! And the, real, the reality is I didn't know it. I thought the Lakers were going to go up 3-1. Tied 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I know. It's a real good series. Did you hear uh, Menino's clip? We should play it again for Bill Burr. Oh, fantastic. Mayor Menino. He you know, you know he can't talk, right? Adult. Oh, yeah. He had this to say about uh, David Stern. I guess he was giving David Stern oh, an award in this Boston. Is enough. This guy is prolific. Listen to this. Thank you, Donald Stearns. Thank you, NBA. And thanks to Shamrock <laughs> Foundation, all they do for the children of Boston. Thank you very much. Donald Stearns. Right, right out. Right out of the gate. Do yeah. Donald Stern. Thank you, Donald Stern. Stearns. Stearns. And what about the? Uh, uh, you want to oh, play the other one? The other well, one. With the other the, one uh, was uh, Bill. Turn us on to that. About. She's oh wait, you got you got to do the backstory. The ionic. You got to do. I the, don't know the backstory on this. No, well, this is the. Uh, the, the, I the Veritech. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, fantastic. what's the backstory? The backstory is I'm I'm up in, I'm up in Boston doing a gig, and Menino goes up there and uh, they were dedicating a statue to Bobby Orr. So they were talking about all the legendary moments. In, in Boston sports. First of all, he couldn't understand a word he was saying. And then finally he goes, and he goes, and when Vinatieri split the uprights, who can forget that? Not Vinatieri, sorry, Ver yeah, Veritek. Yeah, yeah. Veritek. Veritek. When Veritek. Veritek split the uprights, who can forget that? And everyone's just like, Jesus Christ. So I call him up because I know you guys hate it. I'm thinking it's going to go to voicemail because Opie never picks up. So I call, and Opie picks up. I'm like, holy shit, he picked up. So I'm like, hey, dude, what's going on? I go, I got another Mayor Menino thing. I'm up here in Boston. People are still asking about ONA. We're talking for like five minutes. We start talking playoff hockey. And all of a sudden, I hear this baby crying in the background. And he goes, oh, dude, oh, by the way, uh, you know I had a kid, right? And I was like, Cause a lot no, of I had no idea. And he goes, oh, I thought you, he thought I was like so socially awkward. I was like <laughs> calling up to congratulate him for a baby. Uh, well, for having a baby, but I, I, I gave him a Menino bit on the way and talked about, you know. I, I, I was wondering what was going on. I'm thinking, well, I guess he's obviously calling because he found out I had a kid because I, I got calls from all the guys pretty much. Yeah. And then we're just talking. I'm like, I guess he's going to eventually congratulate me. And then the kid's crying. I'm like, oh, that's my kid in the yeah. background. He goes, dude, you had a kid? I'm like, yeah, I thought that's why you're calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually when somebody calls up to, hey, man, I'm just calling to congratulate right. you. had a boy. Dude, right. that's awesome. You yeah. got to get him playing hockey. Blah, blah, blah. It was so awkward. But I'm sitting there going, talking about no touch icing. <laughs> and then we're just saying, you must think I'm the biggest asshole or the biggest. Yeah, like the most socially yeah. awkward. <laughs> But here's the clip you turned me on to by calling me that day when you should have been congratulating me. <laughs> Boston, we have an amazing set of remarkable athletes whose action in a moment have become ionic. Ionic. In sports, Havlicek stole the ball, Fisk waving the ball fair, Cluey launched the Hail Mary pass, Veritek splitting the uprights. <laughs> <laughs> I even like when he says that. Flutie launching the Hail Mary. Pass. Pass. <laughs> he reads line by line. Yeah, yeah, he is retarded. 
Uh, yeah, wow. and he has like a governor on how many words in a row he can read. Yeah. It was yeah, just one more word. Come on. <laughs> Fuck punctuation. I have to stop <laughs> now. <laughs> Hail Mary means pass. That Hail was Mary. the greatest thing. That who could forget? ever? Who could forget? <laughs> he goes, who could forget? Apparently you. <laughs> oh, what a God. dolt. You're not, but you're not a World Cup guy, right? No, I actually get into that. You, you get like into soccer? the soccer? What? What's going on with this soccer thing? It's, it's starting when, when... to kind of take off. I don't know why. We're going to miss the boat on this World yeah. Cup well, It's thing. actually like a true championship. You are actually playing the world. It is World Cup. Yeah, we are pretty cocky when we play the World Series and it's all yeah. teams. Yeah, and the shit talking gets crazy because usually, you know, Boston, New York, you're talking about buildings. Who has a better city? Yeah. Right. Country to country, you can bring up war, genocide. <laughs> yeah. Pe people Poverty. actually, people actually die for their team. Gross national product. <laughs> you're just like yeah, your bringing currency. Up all kinds of shit. Your shitty currency. As, <laughs> and isn't soccer the only sport where they kill the athletes for not doing well? Well, oh, oh, Colombia yeah. does. They, yeah, they, they've had a few own of those. Goal. Iraq too. Huh? He yelled own goal and shot him because the Colombian guy kicked the fucking ball into his own goal by accident. Yeah. And that the man who shot him yelled own, own goal. goal. Own, goal. own goal, and then shot him. You never want to hear own goal. I don't know if I hate that or really admire it. I wish <laughs> athletes here were treated that way. Own goal. Does, and then this generation him? would now just be uh, soccer kick fail, and then fail. They epic fail, epic fail, fail. L O L. Shoot him. <laughs> o M G. Does the U S have a good team? Oh, dude, I don't have any fucking oh, idea. Okay. I just know we're playing England, and they and I, take it seriously. I, it's almost like why I used to watch the Tour de France was I just loved that France took it so seriously. Yeah. And this American who they were convinced was on drugs, but they couldn't prove it, kept winning. So it was fun. Was that Floyd Landis or? That was what, Floyd Merriweather. Floyd Merriweather. No, it was uh, Lance Armstrong. Uh, Lance Armstrong. Oh, Lance. What about the other guy, though? This fucking the other guy. Lamont. Half empty bag. Greg Lamont. Greg Lamont. <laughs> <laughs> who fucking is always trying to rat out Lance? I think he's mad because I another American won. I don't know, whatever. Lance evidently has a heart like like Secretariat. <laughs> he's got some sort of weird thing so he can actually That's not have, normal. Yeah, so they're convinced he's on drugs. When Which it's, is just a birth defect working in his favor. Pumping what, blood like a fire hose. Yeah. yeah. What's, it, what's that heart? It just it pumps more blood than it should? More oxygen in well, his Well, you know what? This, this is actually, this is classic me. I don't know what the fuck's, I, I just brought something up. Excuse me. It's, it's, Microphone in front of you. Yeah. Oh, that's right. you got to be right. You're an expert. That's right. Go exactly. Uh, Have that's, confidence, my that, friend. That's his, his side of the story. Like his doctors and everything. Oh. And then some guy who's a former drug addict or something on his team actually said, no, no, he was doing drugs. And they're like, oh, he's a degenerate. <laughs> Isn't that there another thing they do where they, like, take blood out or from the guy, in? and then they, like, yeah, store it, refrigerate it, then they wait for you to naturally rebuild up your blood supply, and then they dump that extra blood into you so you have more blood in your body. <laughs> oh, like, you, gain, the you gain, like, four pounds of blood. <laughs> oh, blood. <laughs> There's like more blood pumping through your fucking Is that good vein. for you? I don't know what that would do. Not if you cut yourself shaving that day. <laughs> yeah. I guess. It, it fucking just oil rig gushes out of you. <laughs> or like maybe, the maybe it's just the blood cells. Maybe they, they like put more red blood cells in you. And that way you got more uh, uh, cells to grab the oxygen and disperse it through your body. Oh. You know, just I, when I was I, worried, I, I didn't didn't know what I was talking yeah, I about. Know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, assuming that's what it would be for, you know, you got yeah. extra blood cells, which means extra oxygen. And it goes into the pancreas, right? <laughs> which is sort of like the uh, the Grand Central Station of the organs. I like when they like and the enzymes organs to things, you know, it's like <laughs> the kidney, which is really like a pool filter of the <laughs> organs. In your body. Yeah, dumb it down to some blue-collar job. The oil pump <laughs> of the body being your your heart and the stomach. Has a valve. Is the, the greasy spoon truck stop diner of the body. <laughs> um, You've ever looked into the back of your toilet and seen that <laughs> flapper? Yeah. Covering the holes, much like the valve. <laughs> toilet flapper of the human body. <laughs> I didn't have confidence, but I, w I was right. Floyd Landis is the Lance Armstrong rat. Bill is talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't have confidence in it. So Floyd. I stopped. Floyd uh, Landis, who I think mm. won it one, one year at least. No, right? he didn't. He never won it? No, he's bitter. He's They're bitter for not winning it? it? He didn't win it? Mm -mm. All right. See, that's why I have no confidence in this. Uh, Bubba got two bucks. Apparently, Bobo got yeah. two bucks. He's We're ready to back go to home. This? Hopefully, they're delivered on the edge of fist. I do, yeah, I, I just want to see how we got it. Hey, hey, dummy. We got 60 seconds with you, Bobo. You got the $2.25 to go back home? 
Yeah, a fan, a fan just happened to say, aren't you Bobo, and handed it to me. How much? <laughs> uh, handed me the two two dollars. But you don't you need two dollars and twenty five cents? Uh, I got twenty five cents. Oh wow! All Fuck right. me running. So you're on your way home now, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna walk out to the bus, head head home. Well, you walk out in front of one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna right. I'm just gonna head home and do what else I always do on the weekend. What's that? Watch TV. Oh. All right. Thank you, sir. Jerk off. Thanks, Bobo. Have a great weekend. We got to cut you short today. Yeah, 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 no, no, we got big stars in the studio today. We don't need you. You guys right, goodbye. All right, all right. Lance Armstrong's heartbeat is slower than a regular human's, is what yeah. people are saying. Oh, so oh, really yeah. So that, that means he doesn't uh, he doesn't get nervous when he's on the bicycle. And then oh. there's uh, something called <laughs> and the blood doping is what you're Sounds talking good. about. Increasing blood the doping. amount of red oh, wow. blood cells in your That's body. Good. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, the juxtaposition to the white cells <laughs> is what then uh, gives you that extra speed in your yeah, legs. Oh. Exactly. It's when they remove blood from Eric and inject it into you. Blood doping. <laughs> so, blood doping does give you the extra white cells? Uh, red blood cells. Yeah. Red. Ah, see, I think, I you, was, I think right. you want the reds. But I wait, don't think you want the, the whites. How do they give you the fucking the extra cells whites. without the extra blood? They, How do you uh, sneak boom. bags of blood in with those little European vans? That you ride around in that I are think, made out of tin. They could probably do it before you um before, before you, you leave. You know, how long does it last for? And how long is it to take how effect? About, how about who thought of this? I I fucking said, so, you yeah. know what? I think this is gonna work. And, and where, where does be the it guinea go? pig? Like, how does it work through your body? Know. Where your body realizes, ah, you got too much blood in there. We got to fucking. Dude, there's do a group of doctors it. that just know everything. Yeah, they're actually sitting in some big house. Dr. Steve, he, he, every he know. every person who comes up to bat, they just know who's doing what. They know, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy. Yeah. This guy here. You know what he's on. Yeah, I'll tell you why he's got 18 triples <laughs> in April. <laughs> Another, uh, the Mets had a one-hitter. The pitching is out of control this year in Major League Baseball. I know, there's been like three perfect games. Because they fucking took out the, the steroids, They're right? saying they took the, the big hitters right out of the fucking mix when they did the steroid thing. So the pitching is now being, it's it, more effective. It's out of control this year. They can't see it. They are getting some really good fucking pitches, though, coming up. True. Pretty nasty. Hey, who's, Bill. That, who's that new kid they got? Um, oh, Lee Strasberg. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he fucking throws 100 miles an hour? I don't know his name is. It's yeah, something it's like Lee, that, though. Lee Strasberg. Steven Strasberg. <laughs> Steven Strasberg. <laughs> Lee Strasberg is the actor. Oh, it is Strasberg? Jeez, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we have a closer. <laughs> <laughs> they called it Strasmus when he first pitched. Yeah, this is like the biggest thing in Washington ever. Yeah, yeah, Washington, like, needs something. Of course they do. Yeah. Uh, they used to they, be the Expos, let's not forget. Yeah, they actually have a, a pitcher. A really not good Not a belly one. itcher. Yes. He's extremely good. Well, I like how the Senators failed miserably originally. <laughs> yeah. They were considered one of the worst franchises. I mean, they just folded. Yep. In case you didn't know what folded meant, I, I brought my fingers together yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, so you Fold. folded your, your fingers. Which could have also been pinched. <laughs> They pinched. They just stopped playing, yeah. and no one cared. No one. Yeah, and then, hey, really. And then you just you come back and you, you rename it the same loser name. Yeah. Mm. Oh. How about the congressman? You know, just <laughs> mix it up a little yeah. bit. The representatives. The lobbyists. <laughs> How about the boy fuckers? The <laughs> updated. Hey, page rapers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Banker blowers. <laughs> and once again, not having confidence. Landis did win a Tour de France. My confidence no, sucks today. I, I think he did. He didn't. Floyd Landis did win. Floyd Landis didn't. Only, on, only Greg on. Lamont. You want to bet? I'll, I'll bet you. I have uh, much more faith in Bill. I'll bet you a thermal. You seem to like to wear I those a the lot. Thermals, yeah. I know you do. Uh, very, very comfortable. <laughs> I'll, I'll bet in the you a thermal with a T-shirt over it. That's that's cool. okay. <laughs> that'll be your look right through Wednesday. This is a big thing. <laughs> I'm pushing all the chips in. Dana Montana, dude. I'm look it up. up. Floyd hey, Landis. Hang on. Floyd Landis did win the Tour de France, except that they... No, he didn't. They, yes, he did. They caught him doping, so they took his... Uh, so technically, he didn't win the Tour de France, so, so I, I think Bill is probably right. right. So Bill is wrong. He did win it. No, but no, he, he didn't. didn't if they took it away from him. They you gave it to the other guy. You That's guy like won. somebody steals a car, and he says, this is my car, and then they go, no, it isn't. You stole it. Yeah, but... So who's before right? Before you figured out that it. I stole it, Yeah. it looked like it was mine. He didn't win. But did you know at least he won at cheating. first before they took it away from him? 
I was convinced I was wrong. I was just I was just fucking uh-huh. around. Yeah, yeah they, right, boys. Take they, care. they took yeah. it away from him. So technically, I guess he did not win the Tour de France. Actually, you know what? I I heard that that was Tour bullshit. De France. That was that was just that was some that was some French stuff. Some Frenchies uh, some fucking Frenchies, around with him. They, they were mad. Yeah, pissed off. God that they damn it! Win. Another one. Yeah. Hey, changing gears. Uh, um, oil spill. I'm thinking you might have a conspiracy theory on this. Although you're not doing conspiracy theories as much, Bill. I do. Are you I, trying I, to fade I, out I, of the conspiracy I, theories? They, they were driving me crazy. I just ha- I know I I you tapped st- out. I, no, I still have my theories. This is the Ob- but, Obama administration that is responsible for this, the whole thing, because uh, he, one of his uh, he he tried to appease people by saying he was going to drill. I like when Bush was drilling. in office, he wasn't into conspiracy theory. Now he is. Okay. Oh, oh no! Now now they're all happening. <laughs> Politics. See, because he had said he Got was going to start one. drilling, and people were like, "Yeah, good. We need more oil. We're going to start drilling." And he said, "Yeah, we're going to look into drilling." And then he had his uh, people blow up this platform, get this leak going, so now he can say, ah, I don't want to drill, because he never wanted to drill in the first place, and now he's got a reason, and the public will be like, yeah, we shouldn't drill. Okay. So he's responsible for uh, the whole thing, his administration. They just swam right up to that thing that they had a ca- oh, yeah, camera they, on? They sent uh, Navy SEALs uh, with thermite paint, yeah, and they go. painted the, uh, the thing and blew it up. You got a theory on this, Bill? I have, I, I, have a th- I have a theory. I saw a thing the other day where this guy, this guy had 21 kids that then produced 90 grandchildren. And I think what's coming out of his dick is worse for the environment than what's coming out of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you know? God damn. That's an environmental disaster. Are you talking about 19, because he, 19 uh, and uh, counting? Does uh, your girl uh, watch 19 and counting? No. Or is it 18 and counting? No, uh, it was in Rolling Stone. It was some R&B singer. Of course, who I had never heard of. <laughs> sure. Right, and uh, he he had a t- dude. There was a, there's another kid in Tennessee. He's 29 years old. He has 21 kids. <laughs> and they 22 go, women. And they go, oh. they they go oh. like what? what ha-? He goes, I don't know. He goes, it just Actual. happened. It just happened. He goes, My it dick just fell into just another happened. chicken. <laughs> like two years, he had four children. On t- he had four children, two separate years. Oh. God. Wow. So what? now they're trying now they're trying to break up his his check for all the child support. Oh wow. Which is literally coming out to like thirty seven cents yeah. per person. So they're dragging him in jail. It's like uh you know, that it's it's horrible. He he produced twenty one fucking kids who really aren't gonna have a father. No. Who are gonna, you know, then do what the fuck he did unless they go to therapy. No, this is uh, and learn that it's wrong. It's not gonna be yeah, it's not uh, it's not gonna uh be changed. And you, you can't even know ninety people. people's names. Forget about no. the extra twenty one, like you could even Oh. That's insane. Yeah, was it uh uh somebody who is my maybe from a background that is stereotypically known to uh procreate at a ridiculous rate? <laughs> I think you're kinda in your own you're in your own league when you do stuff like that. Yeah. What do you my India? India, a bunch of people over there have like yeah, fucking yeah. twelve okay. kids. India, you know. Yeah, I mean, we true. can steer it into the black neighborhoods again, like you always like to. All right. Let me do that now by <laughs> commenting on a video clip I saw yesterday. Um, oh, Anthony. What? No, no. The, yeah. <laughs> you know what you like? You like me when I was into conspiracy theory, and all I did was read shit that supported my opinion. I already had my mind made up, and I was like, "See, there you go." No, no, no. This... And after a while, I realized that was a moron. But for some reason, but Anthony, the, you never have that it. moment of clarity. This w- this happened, and no one's talking about it. And it what is a, it is a racially based uh, 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 crime. What happened? The tea party people were having a little tea party. Oh yeah, that a, guy on the video. Little, yes. Yeah, they were they were protesting and uh, peacefully protesting, and a black gentleman walked up and socked the one of the guys right in the fucking face. Yeah, and it's not. Be- you're right. It was on Fox, of course, but it was CNN. Didn't I didn't see no, them touch it. it. Maybe Is that the one where the guy spit on him. No. Or drop the N word or something. No, no that's, and that's just, just, that no one could even just, prove uh, happened. Of course, yeah, of, of course, course not. Of course not. Those yeah. guys would never say something. Breitbart like that. offered up. Breitbart offered a hundred thousand dollars to anyone that could prove that that happened, and no one had proof that it happened. Maybe they did. Who cares? What? What? All the other Tea Party people who were around? I mean, for a hundred thousand, somebody would have. Would have. Oh, uh, but nanny, 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 nanny. Uh, All right, you called him a name or something. Nanny, nanny, nanny. It's not like holds a little more weight than that. Punching but okay. the guy. It's not like punching the uh, <laughs> walking Did up to a guy. You just reduce that word with. to na 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 na. Yes. Go. <laughs> I want you to go down, still downstairs on the sidewalk, and just test out both those words. Start off with na 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 na, so right. we can complete the experiment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll do it in front of the fucking black Israelites that do nothing but bad mouth white people when you walk past them. All right. I'm, yeah, not, that's not, good. I'm not saying that that's they're good. right. How about I, I fucking drop the n bomb on them? 
See what happens. But why is that video not getting more coverage? I you wouldn't. Oh, I would. You wouldn't. What, I driving by at 60? Fucking... I Don't do absolutely it. Don't would. do it, tough guy. Right now. Take out, take, put your pistol on the table, go downstairs and do I, it. Now you're fucking throwing rules in there. That shouldn't be in there. Jesus Christ. Oh, see. <laughs> What? Do you think the black is, is Red Dawn like great? a comedy? <laughs> you have that in the comedy section of your DVD collection? Comedy! The black Israelites are fucking ridiculous racists so that get so, away so, so, with standing in Times Square and blurting out their hate. Meanwhile, if I stood on a fucking spackle bucket and blurted out uh, shit about black people, the cops would haul me away or I'd be fucking beat oh, up first. stop it. The fucking Klan can get a permit to, to, to go down the street and yeah. do what they want to do. Yeah. It's they, the same shit. You're talking about no. an ignorant group and an ignorant group. That's what you're doing. No, now you're going to try to act like, you know, that they can walk around saying all kinds of fucking they, racist they shit. They can. How does Without, it Why aren't they removed from fucking uh, the sidewalk for uh, inciting? The Klan uh, this has why. to get permits. Yeah, and that's a great point. March, that is a great point because the, of the reaction of white people. It doesn't. We look at them like it doesn't affect us. So we don't give a shit. If we actually, if it actually incited a riot, okay. But white people are the scared. Way, is the what way the way the Klan can. The but, way the Klan can incite a fucking riot. If you put the Klan in New York City, there's going to be fucking problems. Yeah, of course. Right. Because it's easy to. Uh, be aggressive and uh, uh, go after white people, regardless of their ideology. It's easy to do that. That's not. That's but, not. But, you're, you're, but, really, you're really not looking at how the position uh, of people in society. Like, do you think that? Do, 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 do you think? Yes. Do you think a king gives a fuck when a serf is fucking yeah scream? He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. That's basically the way it is. Oh, because we rule so much. Because when you go in for a job interview as a white person, ninety percent of the time you walk in, it's a white dude. So it, the guy doesn't really affect what's going on in your life. How did that come out of the black Israelites and me going up to them and dropping the N-bomb on them? Because you're saying that they're inciting a riot. They, Why don't they get hauled up for inciting a riot? Because they never incite a riot. People will yell at them. There's a few people do it, but it's out it never. Of fear. It's out of fear. White people are afraid to confront them. They are fearful of black people because uh, of what they see. And what might happen to them if they drop the end bomb on those black Israelites that they'd step off their fucking little buckets and punch you in the fucking face because most people equate uh, black militants or people with black uh, 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 Afrocentric ideology to violent behavior. If you All criticize right, let me them, ask you this. their racist behavior, how has it affected your life? Directly? What, what, yeah, what directly? have you not been able to it do because of that? But, exactly. Uh, but That's no, no. why it doesn't incite a riot. Because at the end of the day, he's just some dude who has no power over your life screaming. Now, if you got so a bunch of white... So dropping the M-bomb on him, how, how does that affect his life? How does that affect his life? Yeah. Because of uh, white people's fucking dominance in the culture. Fuck that. How am I uh, dominating why, that why, guy? Hey, you know, Opie, how wouldn't you I think that I would learn? Him? Like, I'm going to actually convince Bill, him. Bill, like, how I'm am I dominating him by dropping Bill's the Bill's making a good point, but you can't totally discount black racism either. Like, you are making some really good points. I'm not. But. I'm saying what those guys are saying is are. wrong. They shouldn't do it. But the reason why, the reason why that they're, uh, they, they don't get hauled up for inciting a riot is because they don't. They don't incite but, a riot. But of course they don't. That's what I'm saying. But the reason they, they don't. They annoy me. I've yelled shit white at them. people are afraid I've of yelled them. shit at them. And I've thought the same shit that you're thinking. And it is fucked up. It's fucked up on both sides. But there, there's a reason why, like, I, I can't. They, they, it doesn't affect my life. If this guy's standing there going, you know, white people, that they, they fucking smell like fucking baloney. You know? <laughs> white devil. Smell, smell, yeah, the, the white, white devil. devil. They smell like wet dogs. They're animals. They're spawned from the devil's cock and whatever. The next day, I'm still on with my life. It's not a problem. It goes, I think it goes beyond that. Problem. White people don't like to acknowledge... A lot of times that there is a huge segment of the black population that does not like white people or they're angry. Mm -hmm. A lot of white people don't like to acknowledge the fact that blacks are very pissed off. And what bothers me is the Klan has white and black people attacking them, as they should. But the black Israelites, you'll should never they? see. I, I think so. Yeah, I think they're garbage. Okay. But you'll never see. <laughs> you'll never see I, blacks I confronting the black Israelites. You, you just don't see that. It's like they're allowed to say what they want without right. the confrontation. With I think impunity. it goes beyond. Beyond just not affecting the life. I and think a white a guy cannot fucking say anything about a black guy or white pride or right. fucking uh, uh, the South or the fucking stars and bars. <laughs> whatever the fuck, whatever level of whatever is determined to be racist by black people, you can't do right. it. Right, and because of that, yeah, but it levels off. And you also off. get to live, you have cops who are friends 
They wave to you as you come down the street as you're smoking a joint and fucking driving your Mustang 200 miles an hour with your get me out of a ticket sticker. <laughs> hey, you, it balances out, Anthony. You're doing all right with your I'm 58 say- hot tubs and fucking. I'm not saying. <laughs> come on, I'm dude. Not. Stop you it. Just you stop it. You have to drag the fact that I've uh, actually done something with my life and uh, assimilate to society very well and uh, made friends and act like a fucking human being uh, to other people. Please. That, the fact you can, you have to drag. Drag that out instead of. Uh, Come on, dude. Maybe Brian Gumble still gets pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Gumble could still, at any moment, get the shit kicked out of him if what? someone doesn't watch Good Good Morning Today or whatever the fuck he's what on. What happened in Bill Burr's life that made you such a guilty white person? I'm not a guilty you white are person. So guilty. No, I'm not. See, he's you tapping out. He's guilty. tapping I'm out. He just tapping. capitulated the argument. I'm not. Victory for I, Bill Burr. I, I Bill am Burr. Not you tapping. know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave right now. I'm Bill Burr, Carolina. You just got fucking destroyed. Don't and you, you got nothing. When did you become cheek. such a fucking douchebag? Iron that's cheek. not even. Don't that's pull not an even, iron cheek on fuck me, you, I Fuck you and your ass. Make you humble. <laughs> I don't want. Don't, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> you just. You just. You just had an iron cheek. That's a new thing. The iron I cheek moment. Iron you cheek. tapped out. I did not you tap did. out. Why did you I tap out? out. You stopped making You're points. You're the one that could you fucking stop. just. You, you stopped making points. You stopped making points. You just started insulting me. You just did that to me. You kind of tapped out. I asked you what happened in your life. Thank you. There we go. You Why'd you tap no. out, Anthony? I just I just you tap, tap out. Why'd you tap no out? word for the pest capitulate. You guilty? You will not you just blame. You will the argument. not blame black yeah, people. His for eyebrows anything. are up. Look at it. it's over. He's why his fucking out? heart rate. You won't blame it's black over. people. It's over for any for any. Uh, it's over. Uh, they, 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 there has to be some responsibility. But why did you insult Bill Burr in the middle of that? Yeah. Why did Why did you quit? <laughs> what happened? At what point did you quit? I didn't quit, Bill. You quit. I'm here. I'm right no, here. No, you didn't, but you just kind of you, you abandoned you abandoned your argument. You no, completely I, abandoned it and you I turned did, into a personal attack. Put your eyebrows down <laughs> and be a goddamn man. Gather yourself. Do we need to take a break? No. Maybe it's Anthony too good. can Anthony it's too good. I did the same thing that you did to me three no, times didn't. during this discussion. No, no you, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, I, is that why Opie's agreeing with Opie's agreeing with me? Well, just he's more agreeing uh, against Anthony. Yeah, he is with you. <laughs> Opie is stirring the pot. What? Is what, it's called. what are you talking about? I've seen this for years. There's a white Look, guilt thing you said to Bill Burr. That, that Opie a very guilty white has guy. a track record that is, that speaks for itself. That he doesn't for do things like that. that no, no, yes. he, he doesn't do things like that. He doesn't do things like that. I mean, what? Bill. Oh, there you go. Oh, Anthony's back. Bill. I didn't know I who that, that guy is. Apologize to Bill, first of all. Are there white any, any eyebrow there any and sit- your mustache. Everything there is any- fucking at <laughs> full mast. <laughs> full mast. <laughs> are there any situations, Bill, where black people are to I'll blame? I'll give you a great example. Be- I'll give you a great uh, I example. I didn't even ask the question. I already know what you're asking me. What you am you I did ask, ask it. What what you I? fucking shouted it with your eyebrows at full attention. Is there anything? What are you at? (laughs) (laughs) You thought you were out of food. (laughs) Have you no... All right, answer the question that Anthony never asked. This is one one that I hate. I hate whenever... uh, a black dude is like a pimp or something like that, and mm-hmm. then they just blame his social situation and be like, "Well, if he was white, he could have been a doctor." It's like, no, he's he's making a scumbag move. How come if he was white, he wouldn't be a CEO for Enron? He wouldn't be a banker. Oh, right, he wouldn't right. be a complete piece of shit. All of a sudden, like just because he's black, he's going to be an angel. I, people are people, and most people are are pieces of shit and they're fucking liars. That's what I feel. All and right. most people don't do the right thing, including myself. Because that's the hardest thing in life, is not to be a complete piece of shit. It is. It's easier when you're younger, when you have parents, and they can act like they're not complete pieces of shit, and try to fucking make you a better person. But the second you leave the nest, Mm -hmm. and then you go out in the world, and it's like, I could go to a peep show right now. And I'm not going to get sent to bed early. <laughs> so then start turning you into slowly, a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, you slowly go off track, which has <laughs> fucking happened in my life. So that's my thing. No, I don't. I don't just openly. I, I don't. You know, believe me, dude. I've had unbelievable battles. Unbelievable battles I'm with other black comics who were all sitting there in the middle of a deal before I'd ever gotten a deal, telling me that I had it easier as a white person. That is enraging yeah. when black comics. Yeah. Pull that fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. So that happened. Not to start a fucking you know soapbox thing here for Anthony. I another subject to go off of. Yeah, oh, there's definitely there's, def- there's definitely that stuff. Okay. <laughs> I've I've lowered so my go. brows. Yes, you have. All right. We we got two great phone calls coming in. First is uh, James in Canada. James. Good morning, boy. Good morning, Hi, James. James. Uh, Anthony. Yes, sir. I'm whiter than two bags of milk. 
Mm-hmm. And I got no Bags. guilt for nothing. But I find it funny that you have these battles with Bill or Patrice. But when Quentin Rampage Jackson or Frank Lucas was in this week, you didn't say shit. What am I going to start a racial discussion with them for? They're not known for, for that. What am I going to do? <laughs> exactly. All Frank Lucas did was a million dollars a day in drugs. Yes. Why would you discuss the black community with him? Why am I going to get into it with him? <laughs> yeah. And Bill Burr is known for his racial stances? And, yeah, at times. At times. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen Bill up on his soapbox. All right. You have a good day. Just, and was you're very, fucking very... Canadian, so shut up. You can't even talk about this. Oh, I don't know shit. What, I don't he know he what did it again. You won, like. sir. You're uh, 0 2. You just did it again. No, that, you kind of did it. That is you the biggest, Bill, that is What's the biggest cop out. <laughs> because you're, you're not bringing up that a point. Bring what do you know, you point. fucking Canadian? He Go is. dump some syrup on your cock. The guy, <laughs> well, I, I made my point. You mean to tell me this guy knows Anthony, more you're a child. You argue like a child. African Americans. They're not called African Canadians. Clean up your toys and go to your room, sir. No. And think about what you've done. No. There you go. They're not Tom called African-Canadians. Can can <laughs> we're talking about African-Americans. You have to live amongst them to get an understanding of what we're talking about. A Canadian does not know what the fuck is I'm anybody talking buying about. This? He does I'm raise a good this. point about Canadians commenting on racial relations in America yeah. when they don't it's experience it. It's a whole different story up there. They have a they totally different point of view. They don't fucking put up with shit up there if a white fucking Canadian says something bad uh, racist-wise. Race wise. It's uh, more of a crime. The Human than, Rights Tribunal. They really are pathetic than, in Canada. Than fucking, yeah, killing somebody. The fucking there. CBC is worse than the FCC. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, so I don't want to hear from Canadians. All right, let's go down to New Orleans and talk to Q. Oh, Christ. Might as well be Q, Canada. I believe, has been on our show a few times. Q. Yeah, I didn't call it a couple of times. What's up, boy? What's, What's up, What's up, Q? Congratulations, Ope. That's the first thing I want to say. Jimmy, love your stuff. Thank you, Bill, sir. Bill, you're a killer, man. I love you to death. Congratulations, Q. I'm sure you have lots of kids. <laughs> see, see, over three, Bill Burr. <laughs> Although funny, that was Although funny, funny that was but funny. over three, that was funny. Uh, Q, so how many funny. kids do you have for the discussion so at funny. hand? Hold on, Q, how, how many kids? How many kids? I've got two. I'm 37. I have two kids by my wife that we've been married for six years. And my son is five and three. Wow, well, you're, uh-huh. you're the guy in all the commercials. <laughs> wow, <laughs> holy shit. Or maybe he's just been shooting blanks for the last 15 years. <laughs> but no, I mean, but, I, you know, for, for, I, my background, I, I come from a background that I wanted to wait. And that was the way mm-hmm. it was. Now, I had a lot of friends that, you know, grew up as such, had a lot of different kids and things like that. Mm-hmm. And also grew up with jail. a lot of racism. I grew up with a lot of racism jail. and everything like that. Yeah. I grew up, in the, I, I grew up not so much in the inner city. I grew up not so much in the city, but on, in the suburbs and whatnot. And then we moved out to a little place that was like completely country. School went from kindergarten to 12th grade, and I was like one of five blacks in the whole school. So that's when I first encountered racism. But anyway, the whole thing I wanted to say was it's so funny to hear Ant because a lot of times Ant goes on his rants and everything. And sometimes, I got to admit, I got to turn it off. And I almost get to the point to where, oh, shit, I'm canceling my exam. But, you know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> It's all, it's, it's Don't all worry, Sirius will do that when you stop paying the bills. It's all in the day. It's all in the day. You insulted it's, him. It's man. all in the day, and, and I really love you guys for everything you do and for everything else you've gone through and, you know, and everything that you say. But it's so funny sometimes to hear Ant go on these rants like this mm-hmm. because it's almost as if to say that white people are, you know, white people are mad because we don't have enough power. No, you no, know? it's not. it has nothing to do with power. It it has it has to do with um when it boils when it boils down to it like you were saying like you were saying with the black Israelites on the corner now like I said I'm not endorsing any particular you know any particular ideology anything Uh like that as far as what everybody says and stuff but from the way you're making it sound and just to you know reinforce Bill you know Bill's point. Was that you're saying that when you pass on the corner and these guys are just, you know, oh, white people, blah, 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 and everything. And it's like, why don't more white people get mad? Right. And how come it's like you get a black person on the corner, you know, you get a white person on the corner doing the same thing? Because it's a fine line. Because, unfortunately, especially within the climate that we live in right now, it's a very fine line that, man, shit can get reverted to 1965 or, you know, 1955. Oh, believe me, I don't think it's going back to 1965 with a black president in the White House. Oh, yeah? Go on YouTube and read some of the comments. (laughs) Oh, and and, and there are comments under videos that show horrid atrocities committed by black people. Oh, really? Yes. I can go go on. No, no, no. Dude, you can go on anything. Anything. I've been. and there's this shit that has nothing to do with race. And, the, and the, what I love about the race is they can't even spell. Somebody wrote the other day, left a comment, he goes, Mexican, I could have guessed G-U-E-S-T. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Bill actually said it right, though. You said 
It's it is the king surf mentality. But that really is like Ant gets like yelled out like oh he's a racist, but it, that king surf mentality really is a very closeted racism and a very closet. I don't mean by you, but I mean the, the people that feel that way. Like oh the black Israelites shouldn't be held accountable for what they say. They're children. They're serfs. That is the mentality of white people walking by. No, I Which think is a weird racism. It's a very, very subtle form of being a real uh, paternalistic racist. No, it, no. It, what, it's more like this. It's, it's more like this. At no point have white people had to deal with like, like being the weaker culture, so that they they were the under the thumb of somebody else. The same way like Jewish people freak out about everything because of the shit that they went through. We haven't gone through that, so that's why when those guys say that shit, it doesn't hold the weight because no one has successfully done that. Now, if uh, if, if somebody successfully um, makes white culture drop down and we go through a whole bunch of bullshit, like that type of stuff that goes there would not be tolerated. So it wouldn't saying, be tolerated. I, but I, but I, I, it's kind of the same point. Like, I understand why it happens. You're right. I mean, blacks were dominated here for a long time and all up through the 60s and even, you know, into today, the institutionalized mm -hmm. racism still exists. But you can't say that there's, there is a double standard in the language that to me goes beyond that. It goes beyond just like common sense going, hey, you know what? That's like when you're, if you're complaining about, hey, how come they hired a black guy? Who is equally qualified as a white guy? Well, you know, it, it, we're, that's where to me, uh, hiring quotas are legitimate. Like, you know, if you have three black guys and three white guys, and they're all equally qualified, and you hire the black guys because the playing field has been so shitty for so long, that makes that argument sense to me. But when it comes to this double standard in the thinking and the language, it goes beyond that. It goes way beyond that, especially with the way things are now. What do you mean a double? What double standard? In the thinking, the language, like white people hold other white people much more accountable to standards in the language than they hold blacks. And to me, that is the way you talk to somebody that you feel better than. That is the way you talk to a child. It's not the way you talk to somebody who you just see as a worker no, among I, I would, workers. I would agree with that. Like, I don't think the solution is to, is to make it easier for someone to, to get some uh, to get into college rather than having to do the same amount of work. You're not helping. Them. That's like, you know, I got a couple of, you know, friends that kind of bums, and it's like you, you give them money, you're not helping them. You're not no. helping because they don't learn. And then they burn through the shit. And if you don't teach them anything, you know, it's just I, I definitely it's know. Being I'm being a certain kind of rich. Yeah. <laughs> you know, huh? And you see, and that's, and that's the name of it is being a certain kind of rich, they call it. <laughs> no, these are white people. God <laughs> damn it, Anthony. You're the worst. You really are the fucking worst. And then he sits there and acts like he's not a racist on any fucking level. You, you never, really are. I have never said that he's a racist. He's pretty much admitting racist. that he's a racist now, though. He's pretty much admitting that. I have I have this. How can you so openly be like that and... That fucking old lady there from the White House says one thing. Her career is just completely over. You know over. why? Because she right. was living a fucking lie and a facade. I am open and honest. And so when I say something, people accept it. She wasn't go, oh, living a facade. She, was, she was a flaming liberal. She was a yeah, flaming, flaming liberal. So, liberal that's, but, so that, that's what you get fired for? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on your side. I don't think she's a liberal. So then why did you just say she's a flaming liberal? Because, because she was she's always, always open about her she views. She was always open about... She was always open about being radically left. Yeah, not really about Israel and, and Jews. That's saying, a radically left view but, to have, though. But saying, coming out and just saying Jews should be sent back to Germany and Poland and uh, the United States from, from Israel uh, is a little much. That's it's beyond getting, left beyond yeah and, but that, she always and, that, and that that's way. worthy of getting fired after no. a 50 year career no no, no, no. Not it's at all. fucking ridiculous no, no. not it's at all. fucking ridiculous it is it's but she's worse crazy. though because she groveled in her apology she's 90 and she was like oh, i'm sorry i just hope that those lovely people work it out it's like just she fucking attacked bush so hard she's been very very open just say what you got to say and don't fucking don't don't grovel after you said it you're yeah. 89 years old yeah and they asked her what she thought and she gave an honest opinion she never should have there's, shit there's a lot of people too who i've heard say that same thing and it's not against jewish people it's like well you fucking took them and you dropped them into a goddamn hornet's nest <laughs> and then you're wondering what the fuck's going it's crazy i mean and then there's oh we were here first you were first. it's like you're never going to solve that that shit is never going to get solved right, no it's never going to get solved there's too much bad blood so whatever you're walking down the street oh, they should just fucking send them back to where they were blah blah, blah. and then all of a sudden it gets shown and then and she's like the worst person ever. And I love how she was she was in the public eye for 50 years. And it took to the 50th fucking year before <laughs> she finally... She's asked hard questions for every fucking president for 50 fucking years. I think they just wanted to get rid of her. Get they were, they, of, they, yeah, yeah. Get her out. They were done with her. Yeah, they just were looking to get rid of this person. And it's... I mean... 
You can't. I don't, it's just. I don't know. I agree. She, she never. Like, it, basically, been fired. in the early '60s, when she started, you could essentially be open racist, openly racist. <laughs> Wouldn't that shit have come out back then? Yeah, I mean, they think... had presidents who were openly anti-Semites. Yes. Everybody fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't At like the one. Jews. Yeah. yeah, and he's recording himself. Yeah, he was recording check himself. Check one Jew. Check one Jew. <laughs> he was the worst. Yeah, Jew hater in the house. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He didn't care that it was on uh, tape. Yeah, yeah, so I, th I think that I think Fucking it's I think it's complete bullshit. And she was only answering questions mm. that she was asked. The guy said, How, "What do you think should happen?" And she said, "This is like uh, I I think that they should get out." He goes, "Well, where should they go?" And she answered. It wasn't like she approached somebody yeah. and just started spitting shit out. She was just ans answering questions that she was asked. She to me, she did nothing. Nothing wrong. I see. I see. Um, uh, my uh, where, where I'm called a racist a lot is that I don't see this responsibility on the part of the black community as a whole. It's uh, you know individually you'll get um, uh, some some responsibility and people taking responsibility for their for their actions and stuff. But for the most part, it's just like it's like everyone's making ex excuses instead of just fucking living your life. And doing what now? This you is know, the thing. I agree with it. Right I one hundred percent agree with that. And, yeah. I one hundred percent agree with that. But the thing is, is you're putting that all on one group. If travel the country, dude, do stand up, and you will find that you know that whole fucking. I don't. I don't want to even step that Walmart. Oh, culture I know. of fucking white, white people. Trash, it's called. Those, yeah, those people. They're in this this fucking death circle of stupidity, and yeah. no one can seem to fucking get out of it. And it's like you know, dude. I mean, you you basically have described most people that I run into. That's what happened to me. I used to be conservative, then I went fucking hardcore left, and now I'm back more towards the middle, where I really think a lot of people cause their own fucking problems and they're full of shit, and there is you know, the way the playing field is, it is not fair and that type of stuff, and, and it's all how you react to that. If you choose to use that as an excuse... No one gives a fuck about you, so you're not, you're not gonna get... No one gives a shit about me. You're not gonna get ahead if you just keep using that as an excuse. But on some, on another level, I can't sit there and act like it is like but level. But I think the playing field is level. I think the playing field is level. Oh yeah, the Kennedys, but... the Burr family, it's all the no, same no, thing. No. Their big house <laughs> down there, Martha's Vineyard, it's all I the same think, thing. I think the playing field is level. We, li we the lived races. in a duplex. They had a compound. <laughs> it's all the same thing. <laughs> You know, I'm now, sure they paid taxes on all their bootlegger money. But oh, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> <The> literal Jim. <laughs> hey, man, we got a break. We got oh. Our guests are backing up big time. We really do have to break. We can pick up with all this, right. but we got uh, Jim Jeffries. We got, all right. Uh, hey, Anthony, it's nice being back. I we know, got Victoria Zadrock. I love having you here, Phil. And also Ian Halpern. They're all here, and oh, okay. they will all join the program My next. favorite racist. <laughs> <laughs> we got a busy one. Full house, officially. Oh, no, I think we could fit one more in. We got uh, Dr. Z coming in as well with her big boobies. Oh. It's Opie. It's oh, Anthony. It's little Jimmy Norton. It's Bill Burr playing Caroline's tonight and tomorrow night, 212-757-4100. Yeah. Then you got Jim Jeffries over there playing Hello. the Stress Factory. How was Vinny's club last night? Good? It, it was excellent. Yeah, it was really good. Did he sell a lot of chicken wings? Because he gets very concerned if he doesn't eat and I, I, uh, I sell enough chicken wings. I wasn't sure how the food situation went. But he's a good club owner, man. He doesn't drop the check off until the show's over. That's great. You know what I mean? Every other shit club in the country drops a check on you. Vinny is phenomenal for that. That makes no check. all the difference. No yeah. check until you get off stage. Fucking headlining. And you got to, the last 20 minutes or 15 minutes is fucking fighting with cunt fucking uh, and that, and patrons arguing over the check. And that's like Excuse the stairway. And that's like the stairway to heaven of your your whole set too. You're you're ramping up I, to get off the exactly. stage. Exactly. I'm just starting right. to take off my outfits think, and play the music. I don't <laughs> think people know how how annoying that it's check thing is. It's ridiculous. Because usually your last bit, you want to hit them strong and hard, and, and they're too busy trying to figure out. Yeah. Who Drank and ate what? It's the, how much did you eat? I didn't have any of that. Oh, God, they're whispering. Yeah, fucking uh, little... this, this is why i got to give men credit, do you guys, man. Uh, do men you guys... just grab for the credit card, and one of them throws it down. Yeah, it's like it enough already. But women can fucking chat all day about <laughs> how much someone, like, like a hen night, like a bachelorette party. Hen night. They're fucking, yeah, we're talking. <laughs> Hello. Hen night, we call them stag dudes as well, like not bachelor parties, a stag do, hen and stag. Yeah. <laughs> but Vinny does the right thing. I don't know why other club owners don't do it. Well, they want to get in and out because they have other shows The worst one ever. Remember back in the day remember stand up new york yes. stand up new york would would just carpet bomb the entire room <laughs> with checks and they, you would just literally go from killing to feeling like a crazy guy in a bus station <laughs> <laughs> yelling, 
<laughs> yelling that the world is going to end. <laughs> well, they, did, they actually stopped doing that, and they would make the MC do the check. It was a nightmare spot, the check spot. Because they, wow. they, they, would just, they would do the whole, usually like clubs, if they're going to do it, they'll do it in sections to try to help you out. Well, this section sense, won't yeah. pay attention. Everybody else will. Then this section... They would just come in and just fucking oh, the whole room. Carpet bomb. Or, yeah. or starting in the back, at least, so you guys don't see it happening right in front of you oh, if they have horrible. to do They it. should do it afterwards of course and just make should. them fucking show a ticket to get out. Well, you know, in in uh, in the UK, um, there is no table service in comedy clubs. They have intervals. That's you can, great. You can only buy your drinks during intervals. That's great. Intervals. Really? Yeah. I like the intervals. Yeah, so, so you have half an act, time. and then you have 20 minutes to go chat about the act, and then you go in and see the next one. And uh, you can only buy your drinks during the intervals. The, the, the clubs actually sell more drinks because uh, people overestimate how much they drink. They're like, okay, you don't, you, you're not going to be able to drink. You don't want to be stuck. Yeah, you can't be buying a drink while the show's on. So everyone's <laughs> like, oh, i got to get uh, four beers. <laughs> and it's only like uh -huh. each interval's like an hour long, right? So you're like, you're right. <laughs> you, guys, yeah. you guys are just not in a hurry. Yeah. So, oh, the table's it's kind of cute. With America's everything. Now, 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 now. Oh, yeah, there no. you have intervals. You yeah, take yeah, your damn time. People don't, people don't get up during the show to go to the toilet. There's no waitresses walking around. It's fucking damn. great. Hey, uh... <laughs> Capitalism. Let's just keep the whole thing going. Yeah. Get them in, get them out, get them back in, get them out. They also can't do three shows in a night because the shows take two. Oh. They're too leisurely to fit in. Sure. Yeah, hey, too we're leisurely. We're being rude. We haven't, we haven't <laughs> introduced Ian, Ian is here. Ian. He brought the party from last night into the studio. I see there's a few people with you. Yeah. 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 Ian has very good legs. I never realized that until this moment. <laughs> very, very fucking calf oriented legs. Calf Great oriented. cams. <laughs> that's uh, tan, that's well his, structured. That's His Highness for you guys. Yeah, this is His Highness. I brought Le Roi over here, the French version of His ouais, Highness. Bonjour, uh, UK, huh? Paris, London. I'm ah, Australian. Bon but, oh, bon. And you told me that Opie and Anthony are big in France. Ah, oui, mais uh, which one is Opie là? Which uh, one? Right, ah. Yeah. You Opie? Yeah. You're... But Anthony, I'm sorry, Anthony. but the, the French, and, they uh, say you have to and, shave. And, the uh, moustache, c'est quoi la moustache? Hey. Why? Why la moustache? Poupias. Poupias. You don't like his moustache? I spoke last night. I called my ex mistress a mistress. Yeah. And she said, tell Opie, I love him. Oh, I think I'm a sorry, French guy yeah. could, could oh. have don't an be, affair Don't be mad and go, there with me because it says a way. Ferme la bouche. I know you're not. I know you're not used to hair under the lip. You're used to him under a chick's arms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, did you look at the French? Man. French. French. Oh, man. Oh, man. I tell you what. <laughs> Ooh. We invented ah. lingerie. So there. Lingerie. Ah, lingerie. Really? Lingerie. Ooh. All right. How, how can you prove that? Do you yeah. have like an Orville Wilbur Wright sort of picture of the first person? <laughs> Ooh. I call Lafayette. Lafayette, you tell me, okay. The original was the original made out of sticks or something. <laughs> Ooh. Ian. He's the French oh, version. We invented the sneeze. Uh, I mean, how do you prove oh, shit like that? He's called Le Wad Medelgi, and I also brought Michael Jackson's uh, chef. Uh, you used to Alicia cook for Michael Graham. Jackson? Yeah. She used to cook for Madonna, Brad Pitt. You know, Brad, <laughs> snow peas. Brad Pitt <laughs> credited her with... It's not Angie Jolie who he credits for changing his life. It was her. For, really? She cooked for him. She got him in shape for Troy. She was his personal chef. Oh, yeah? That's uh, true. You and, uh, oh, you know, I brought her here because hopefully... In that movie. She, <laughs> she's single, and hopefully she's going to leave the studio not single. So. Ah, and hey. get you all in shape. So we're all Ooh, looking, we're all looking oh. at Anthony here. Anthony, we take home Michael Jackson's uh, ex-chef And she's Canadian to boot. MJ's ex-chef in the last few months of his life yeah. is from Montreal. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. And he was looking so healthy towards the end as well. <laughs> yeah, that's great yeah, for your resume. From, yeah. Yeah. It's from all the great all. cooking. Yeah, yeah. 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 The cooking yeah that's so really good. good for your resume. Yeah, I don't really want to be credited with that. <laughs> leave that all. Yeah, leave that all. Yeah. Did, did you ever see him with the nose off? Like, just the whole... <laughs> the nose um. off. Like, did you ever see just the whole? That's a great like, question. Like, you know, when you wake up and you haven't done your hair, did he ever walk out without a nose? I never saw that. No. But you know, it did snap off, right? Didn't it? I heard that rumor. Yes. You That's why they couldn't resuscitate him properly. They, you have to pinch the nose. To <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, oh come oh, on! What's up, Jim? Jeez. That's. Hey, he's a little gruff, though. You know, he's. 
<laughs> There's a language barrier here. You just, yeah. just listen to it. Uh, well, you know, there's no nose. You yeah. know, press. Uh... Oh, man. Uh-oh, the French guy's not happy with Ooh, that. French guy. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Yeah. I, I like wait the French. Wait a minute. I always think the French, even when they speak in French, <laughs> seem like they don't know their own language. They're always, <laughs> they're always halfway through a word, and then they're like, eh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell oh, you, it's all in the smell. It's all in the smell. You, you, you don't Ooh. know if you don't have the scent Hysterical. of the woman. Ah, yes. Okay. Ooh. Here, the American Why do woman. Why they act like they're, they're the only ones who fuck chicks? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're too you clean. See, see, woman. Really? Really? What, what, right, what is that? Like too clean here. Love. They're like they like two can't get like two favor. SNL right. characters from 1986. Yes? Yes. We're yeah. here to pump you up. What's, what's, what you need the flavor yeah. here. Hey. They're too clean. It's it's. You go in there, I'm and it's like working in a hospital. I'm sorry, it yeah. does not turn me on. Yep. Voilà. Thank you. Oh, so you like a little bit of dirt and a little bit well, of stank. Know, Napoleon used to write to Josephine saying, "I'll be home in three days from war." Please don't wash. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I like that, too. If he your likes... cock smells like a trench, you want that's... the same from her. <laughs> that's why he kept his hand in his jacket like that. His fingers stunk. <laughs> that's right. Because he kept the smell for the whole month. <laughs> Napoleon yeah. was like their Gary Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> he, was so, he was so short, he just came up to her knees. <sighs> well, that went down very well. Very well. This microphone doesn't work. Does it work? This oh, thing? No, it's, oh, it's working. It's a, your stupid American microphones do not work. They yeah. don't. We, we, invented. Invented. Why? Ian, we, we, we invented the windscreen. You put yeah. it on so yeah. subtly. Yeah. Let's, let's talk Hello to Ian for a second. There's no microphone, just people Ian. yelling loudly. Why are you so mellow today? Hey, I'm just enjoying New York. You know, it was a late night last night. Um, Jimmy went to the premiere yeah. of your Michael Jackson uh, flick. I'm so happy he came. Yeah, very good. It was, uh, where is it going to be shown? It it's it's the first movie. film ever to be shown in over 50 countries on the same day in different languages. When We're making it? history here. What are they showing? Uh, they're showing it June 25th, the one-year anniversary of MJ's death. Okay. And uh, what channel? Uh, in the U.S., it's the TV Guide channel. I haven't even bought any ribbons or anything. No I know. Decorations. Great station. TV Guide channel on the way. Channel. They're, they're making some noise. Uh, they're, they're, they're trying to do back. something because they're actually, uh, uh, they took it off it's the cable system's basic <laughs> thing and put it on the premium and shoved it up a few things, uh, a few uh, channel oh, numbers. Oh, really? But, you know, yeah, because they're going to oh, yeah. make a move where they're showing some TV some shows Some real stuff. Now. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they have Curb Your Enthusiasm now, yeah. and they got His Highness. How, and how, they have His Highness. Can't. So how could how could it lose? How could it go? We're, we're, we're going through the ceiling. I, I, I don't That's doubt cool. it. Hey, does the chef have any Michael Jackson stories for us? Anything um, good? Did you ever see him in his pajamas? Did you ever see give yeah, us some? Yeah, give us some Michael Jackson His stuff. pajamas and someone else's pajamas. <laughs> 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 that was a pedophile joke. Oh, sure did was. Oh. <laughs> I actually only have great things to say about him. Yeah? Yeah. He's super sweet, super generous. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you meet his horrible father? He's awful. No, I did not. His father is awful. I like the dad. Look, all I'm saying is, right, I wouldn't be the successful man I am if my mother didn't beat me. And I just, I just think, I just think a bit of discipline, like, he, you can't get a fucking six-year-old to dance that good without fucking hitting them. You need to slap. I say slap. Slap. Would he really take his fork and rub it over Michael's zits when he was a teenager? Yeah, he really did that. Uh, yeah. Wow. I mean, what, you learned that in the movie, Jimmy? I found myself, I'm still not Jesus. convinced that Michael wasn't a pedophile, but I'm no longer 100% convinced that he was. It, it, it really did really? raise a lot of questions. Well, that's, that's literally how I, I feel. I don't think he was, but I think there was a crime nonetheless. You can't, as a man... I hate the fact that he's actually said this to himself alone. And like, <laughs> this is like a Bob <laughs> Kelly moment. This is a rehearsed thing. I think there was a crime nonetheless. It's not something <laughs> you improv. No, but, but <laughs> no one has ever improv that. <laughs> if I could interject. <laughs> no, but you can't be a four-year-old man and sleep in bed with kids. It doesn't matter if you don't fuck them. You oh, just shit. can't. Well, really? you know... Who's said anything about sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you, you can't use the argument that he, he was childlike. Like, I'm a childish guy. You can't, yeah. you, you yeah. know, I still frowned yeah. upon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the chef's given us nothing. <laughs>
Do you want to cook <laughs> something? Or something? Yeah. Yeah. What was his yeah. fried, did he really like right. Kentucky Fried Chicken, like Magic Johnson said, or is that just because I heard he was a vegetarian, right? But then he had it like a thing for fast food chicken. Um, he actually wasn't a hundred percent vegetarian, no. Right. But he ate very well, very healthy, all organic meats, all. Uh, but he didn't have any red meat. He had mostly chicken and turkey and oh. fish. Oh. It's super healthy. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have nothing really uh, slanderous. I know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm not going to destroy my career on your show here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're making a smart move. <laughs> Thank Shut you. up, Bill. Point. Shut up. <laughs> Let me do my job. Make a good oh. point. <laughs> what did Brad Come and on, Angie eat? Uh, I, I, I actually cooked for him over the years. when he was still with Jennifer Aniston. Oh, oh really? Oh. Hey, does, does her pussy? smell oh god <laughs> and you're with me on this. I can smell it from here. No, we today. have a theory. Told, That's the so reason. She has French, you know, so of course. She wants to be married. <laughs> she doesn't even have a boyfriend. So our theory is that the, the, the pussy yeah, smells. And she knows, how to, she knows how to cook. It doesn't mean my cock stinks. Who no. Jennifer? My yeah. sources have told me the puss smells, and it just drives people just a oh, million miles away. French guy. Yes. You've heard that too. I have to say, they wanted to bottle the smell for France. <laughs> Hermes, Hermes, you know Hermes? Yes. And uh, I thought it was the best move. Yeah, yeah. that was wonderful. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> I'd, I'd like than, to interject uh, Jennifer this uh -huh. Is Jennifer Aniston, uh, you know, a C? Or what do you got on her? Is she nice? Is she nice? She I is. actually never met her. Really? Only Brad. Yes. Okay, that's the closest oh. you're going to get to a You told me you made that with a... Come can, on can now. Can you give us a story <laughs> about one celebrity that you've worked for who acted like a bit of a cunt? Just one. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You, you choose the one. You choose the one. Ian, help us out here. Gary Coleman. <laughs> like, give it to us straight, straight, straight from the You guys are really going to put me in this position? No, no yeah, absolutely. Like, we someone, won't tell anyone. Someone oh, you wouldn't male, know word male for again. Male or female? Yeah, anyone. Yeah. Yes. A anyone means male or female. Come yes. on, Madonna. Yeah. How was she? How was Matt? Oh, we had it right there, and he just derailed it with that yeah, last question. Right yeah. It was right there. Phil. It was right there. Right there with you. Come on. Had it. Yeah. Come, Come on. on. You shouldn't go on talk show sure things. <laughs> no. She's... Uh, good. Don't be shy. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here, baby. <laughs> Do it tell slow. Me, tell me your... uh, He's making Do it, it worse. Slow. She keeps yeah. about ready to give it up. These I guys know. are the worst. I know. Let me, let me think about that and get back to me in five minutes, all right? She was also the Chili Peppers cook for oh, really? several years. So yeah. she has no You know when they were making their well. last yeah. album, yeah. she called me and yeah. Tell us Rick Rubin was producing about. and right. she yeah. put the phone up and I heard them, you know, making the album. In the, where was that house? It was in Rick Rubin's recording yeah. studio oh, in Laurel that's, Canyon. That's, that's, um, and it sounded like shit, but the album sounded, the, the <laughs> final product was great. Yeah. But when you know yeah. when she put up that phone, man, I thought it was like Anthony jamming in his basement or something. So who was a bit of a wow. prick? There has to be one. I mean, you know. Yeah, somebody. I've I've worked with Richard Voss. He's been uh, notoriously nice to people, and uh, for me, he was just a, a douche. Can I talk about who is really nice? Nah. Right. 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 <laughs> we'll start with that. Let's... Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning, the we had a little end. bit of a difficult time with Madonna because she was super cheap. Oh, is she a chiseler? There we go. Is I she heard. a chiseler? Okay, I've, well, I've actually heard that. I've heard the way. same thing. So, I know someone who knows. That's all I'm going to give you. I don't know. What, what's cheap? What, what constitutes cheap? Because she's, I mean, she's I know what she does. She just, she really... She really argued with us about what she wanted to pay. And by how didn't... much? Like, by what percentage did she not want it? Like, if you were saying... We want ten thousand a month or whatever it is you get. She was saying, "I want to give you two thousand, or I want to give well, you." Well, she eight. actually never gave us numbers that she wanted to pay. She just didn't want to pay what we were wow. requesting, so which was it, pretty low to begin with because we were just starting out. So that cabal is getting to her. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> so what finally happened? Here we, we go. We came to an arrangement. And How much did you have to compromise by? Uh, in the end, we did not compromise. So you oh. got her up. Yes. How did you get her up? Uh, just by saying we weren't going to compromise and explaining how much work it took to <clears throat> perform and give her what she wanted. And so she was kind of hoping that she could be cheap with you because she is who she is and that you would do it just to work with her. Exactly. So she, I heard she's very difficult to work with. I mean, that's, I, I know people that know her and I've heard she's very difficult um, and demanding and, again, doesn't want to pay. Yeah. The, I mean, I, I didn't... She, <laughs> she was actually really nice to us when we were at the house. Oh. Um, so most of my interactions at that point we're with her assistant so it's hard to know 
if things got difficult, if it was her. Or it sounds it like she's just a shrewd business person. She, she's very shrewd. The story she, really I, is going oh, nowhere. I, <laughs> she negotiated with you, and in the end, you agreed on a price, and then she was rather pleasant. I, I think this is why you're a celebrity cook, because uh, people know what Jesus. is this, NPR today? Yes. She, <laughs> even if you're a cunt, that you're just not going to be able to tell the story good enough. About yeah, it. pretty much. No, Madonna's, she's a shrewd business person. That's what I got out of that. All right. <laughs> Ian, help us out here. I punch, think there was no, up. Dude, I'm so glad to be here. Let's get some callers on the line. Look, I, who here yeah, right yeah. now? If, <laughs> if, get, if, Madonna, if Madonna walks through the studio here, hands up, who will bang her right now? Oh, nah. he's going edgy. He's going edgy. Um, Frenchie would? <laughs> I, yeah, I'd bang I Madonna. would because I hear she has special ways of doing things, you know? Look, I'm, I'm challenging Madonna. I would bang her right now and things. put it on YouTube. I hear she loves the anno. Anal. Yes, yeah, she lubricates her ass with formaldehyde. <laughs> she loves the anal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Loves the anal. Yeah. The, the, the anal. <laughs> I love that. What, loves what, what, the anal. Ian, you got any scoops today? What, what, what any blind France items? Can... Anything? Yeah, we got a, a one blind item was that a Gary Coleman, yeah. close friend of his, uh -huh. yeah. and well, I, I just Bridges. can't say the friend, Todd Bridges, who okay, is in the ahead. entertainment business, Todd Bridges, is, yes, is, is saying that Mr. the police Drummond. are contemplating murder charges. Well, the world don't move oh, they, to the beat. I, just one drum. I called what this uh, a while you ago. You called that? In, immediately, the second I saw that, that wife, ex slash wife, wife I, it, it it, I said, there's something going on with her, and it doesn't look good. You got it, man. Very you... suspect of uh, of her, and I, I don't think, with even with these suspicions going around, that the cops aren't at least looking into this right. and seeing what happened. He fell down. Come on. But the, and the wound was really yeah. bad, right? The head the wound was is, really bad. And yeah. his size, even if he falls down, it's not that big a fall. Is they it? can tell. Exactly they can tell. It's, it's not a, that big a fall. It's just a little. They can absolutely tell if by his weight and height, whether he can fall down, hit his head, and make a wound that would have bled like it did yeah. or, or not. Or, or right. fucked his brain up. Or if it's an impact from... A fucking frying, frying pan. pan or a ball. It's almost not even or his lantern. Or something. No, yeah. His lantern. Oh, God. Jesus. I only just got that. Sorry, it took a while. <laughs> you got those uh, over there in Australia? We got a blind item as well that's coming in from Lou in New York. Lou? Yeah, what's up, guys? Hey, real fast. Uh, French guy, um, it sounds like your accent kind of gets stronger and weaker as a. Uh, as you're talking, where are you actually from? Oh, shit, you're faking your I accent. I am from, you know, where the other side. Yeah, yeah, here, so this is the one. Est-ce que tu parles français? Vraiment, est-ce que tu parles français? Qu'est-ce qui me celui-là? Va te faire enculer, toi. Oh, oh. No, he, he is, oh, he is shit, French, he trust say. me. He's faking it, right? Yeah. yeah. Quoi? Yeah. Where yeah. are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Paris, Paris. Oh, Jesus. Uh, now the, I'm, from, I'm from New York. Yeah. It's called, it's called Paris. Paris in French. <laughs> Frenchmen no, would never Paris, call it Paris. Paris. They call it oh, gay oh, Paris. Oh, shit. This oh, is like that Tarantino oh, movie. Oh, oh, damn. What Where do you say, Rosemary? Germans do three, like, three like this. They don't do three like that. They don't yeah, say yeah. Paris. Oh. They say Paris. Well, you're from Rhode Paris. Island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm from three. Brooklyn. <laughs> Ooh. Brooklyn, New York. Lou, why New do you York. think he's faking it? Why, Lou? Quick. He uses little words. Like, I have a degree in linguistics. I listen to that kind of stuff. The little words that he says, he changes the way that... He says them different times, like little words, like the word the, um, sometimes the R in the French, like that French, uh, uh, it changes. Uh, yeah. That, uh. Yes, you have good deals, huh? What do you yeah. do? I guarantee you're fake, bro. I guarantee it. Yeah? I oh, no. I, you might be French, you might be from France. Talk about exactly. Paris. What are some of your favorite yeah. things about Paris? The yeah. for the croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Blade. Yeah. The uh, women. The women yeah. are the amazing. The, no, the, no, 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 no. the women in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> are you the Wait, wait. What street do you live on in Paris? No, no, I live uh, here. Main Street. Uh, I live here. Uh, I, I, I grew up in Pigalle, which is the, you know, the Moulin Rouge? Yes. The Moulin Rouge? Yes. Moulin yes. Rouge. Right a little down. And that's where I grew up. It's great. I actually love that area. It's really cool. You, and the, the, when did you move away from France? How many Ooh, years ago? Ten years. So you've only spoken English for ten years? I speak, no, I speak no, a lot no. of different French, languages. So. French, French languages. people can learn English at school. Europeans can all speak English before they move out. That's not... He has, he has an accent from like... The all right, we are all so disagree with you, sir. Speak some French. Just it. give us Put a bit. No, no. Cuss him out in French. Cuss, I leave, cuss this guy I in lived French. in London, too. Uh, Say salon. some dirty words in French and cuss salon. this motherfucker. La chienne de sa pute de sa mère, je la prends, je la retourne. 
Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. He just fucking put some French on your ass, big that boy. Means... <laughs> that was, hey, hey, Nazi, come in. We'll cook for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you need, Fritz. Oh, 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 oh man. Wow. Wow. The French is at least one of the places who, that resisted. Yeah. Who was here for you uh, when you needed uh, to boot the, the English out? In the American Revolution, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Where do you Before think? Before modern warfare. Fucking light No, you know what from. they're like? They're like, they're like NASA. They started off good. Yeah, and then it's just sort of petered yeah, out. The Maginot petered. Line. Uh, we really <laughs> did. That Maginot Line stunk. That thing stunk. <laughs> Germans got behind that, and you didn't even have your backs covered. Ooh. No, they dug oh. all those trenches, and then oh, they, 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 the airplane was invented. They just fucking yeah, flew right over they it. they flew over. <laughs> they had this giant defensive perimeter set up with no defense to the rear of it. So if they ever got an enemy coming in on their rear... They're done for. This That's will exactly never happen again. No, the Maginot Line. <laughs> oh, they will never be able to go through the Ardennes. <laughs> really? Well, it's true. They get a little uh, cocky, huh? But, yeah, you know, a little cocky. Uh, so do, what? do you find French Canadians just to be fucking dicks? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, whenever I'm in, like, Montreal, I'm just like, this is the most useless fucking thing I've ever seen. Oh, like, what, what are people Ooh. speaking French in Canada for? Ooh. Yeah, you get, you get annoyed that I people from Montreal try to act in like France, from Paris. But, yeah, yeah they have, when was the last time they, you were in Montreal? Ooh, they have issues I, with I, that, I you go, know? I go about once a year. For the Just for Laughs? Yeah. Yeah, you know Andy Nolman? Uh, no. Just Paul Reed. <laughs> 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 French Canadian aren't like well, French people, right? I'm not very Where do you hang out? Like Where French. do you hang out in Montreal? I did a St. Catherine Theatre and... Why are we... Why? Yeah, why? This is, this I'm from Montreal. This is a conversation for two people I'm from Montreal. Why is everyone questioning where everyone's been? Yeah. No, because why? we got... <laughs> Let's all just believe each because other. Because you look like a guy... <laughs> <laughs> you look like a guy who falls asleep in the strip club. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. You look Shit. like a guy who's very perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> That's just who I am. What, what do you think of those dancers there? I'll tell you what about, I'll tell you, Montreal, best strippers in the world. It's like, the great look of strippers, plus you're allowed to touch them all you want. But I came, I came from a culture where you w couldn't touch a strip, you'd get kicked in the head, right? And so, uh, I, the first time I had a girl in Montreal give me a lap dance, and then she kept on pulling my hands up to touch her, I thought she was into me. So... I pushed the issue a bit further and it turned out that I did get kicked out. So uh, huh. an attempted rape in a booth <laughs> on, on my behalf. Uh, attempted rape. That's good. Did you ever bang a Montreal stripper? I, I have done, yes. I have once. But I've, I've been there a few times. How long did it, how, how long did it last? Uh, how, I was just... drunk. I couldn't tell you how long did it start. I, I was, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I could, last one? Uh, Sorry, no. somebody like cut a fucking fart, and I smell pop tart. Well, I sucked. saved you. It smelled I good. I saved you. But then, but then very, it was hit. very mature. Call them pop farts. <laughs> oh, pop farts, Chip. That's funny. Actually, that was quite funny. <laughs> yeah, you actually, Chip, Chip was a little too funny that yeah. time, Jim. <laughs> pop farts. Just <laughs> starting to work out his shit. Get chops. Get ready for a fucking open mic night. I've been doing it. I go up there and just start riffing on people. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, work the room just what for you, a What do you say to the hecklers, Chip? What work do you say the room. Hecklers? Yeah. Hey, it's a good beard. What are you going to do? Deliver, like, presents on Christmas or something? <laughs> it's good. Oh, oh, a good beard. Yeah, oh, some, some yeah. Santa Claus. He just well, didn't get it. What would you say, like, Mars right there? Go ahead. He's, he's, give him a heckle. Saying you, say, you suck. You suck. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I'm not a spick. <laughs> actually, actually, that's good. Oh damn! I love it when Fucking Chip. I love it when comics just don't even try to have a comeback. They just say what they're fucking thinking to the audience member. Dude, that's that's why Donald Trump is the, that when he went back and forth with Rosie O'Donnell was the greatest thing ever. Yeah. He said, ah, she's a fat degenerate. Yeah, he didn't oh, even try to be funny. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you, you're not funny, and then you just go, you're a whore. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that on stage, and then you get a big laugh, and you're like, that, you're that took no effort whatsoever, <laughs> that comeback. That's fucking funny. I didn't mean, I was just joking. <laughs> oh, of course. See, he's like Don Rickles. He says it, and then yeah. he goes, you know, it's okay. Yeah, his name is Mars. How come they don't call you Jupiter or something, right? Nice we to have Chip back. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the chef. <laughs> oh, what oh, happened? Yeah. Pop tart like, smells delicious. She doesn't like the racism. Yeah. We got more. You hey, want how one? many uh, how many calories in a pop tart? Yeah. Would Michael Jackson smear any on his ball bag? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> just trying to get it. Just trying to get it back in. Just trying. To... This question is in two good. parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what? Uh, anybody like any junk food that you were like, oh, I probably shouldn't make this for this person. Uh, ooh. Popcorn. Yeah. Well, popcorn. actually, I was looking for Tobey Maguire for Spider Man for the yeah. first one. Ooh, whoa, wait, what did he enjoy eating? Sometimes I would see little Mars bar wrappers around the house. Oh. 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 Scandal You'll there. never work Scandal. in this town again. You can't give out secrets like that. Oh my fucking god! Exactly. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get. He ate chocolate bars. This sneaky little bitch. Ooh. A wow. Mars bar. Ooh. I want to thank oh, Ian. Ooh. This is amazing oh. stuff, Ian. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. She, she also cooked for yeah. the company. Oh yeah. Did he ever fuck you because he's a sex he's addict? A sex addict. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we were just yeah. talking about you it. You guys could not put me in this position. Yeah. Is, that, is that what you said? What, to what, he, uh, what position? That yeah. monotone voice in your ear. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're just oh, talking yeah. about do it. you like that? I, I like bet it. you do. What do you Call got me on? daddy. What do you got <laughs> in the company? What do you got in the company? Come on, give it to us. The world is listening. This is headlines for the Open <laughs> Anthony show. Was he ever just masturbating in the kitchen when you yeah. came in? Was it, no. Was it, did he ever say, day, did he ever say I want to believe I'm going to fuck you? <laughs> Does no. he, did he still bang Tia Leone? Is he still married <laughs> no, to her? Yeah, they're, 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 they're back together. They're back together. Oh, are they? Yeah. Her, her name oh, has more... Did he ever make a cum, it, a cum omelet? <laughs> <laughs> very rare, that. Oh. Uh, oh. Wow, I'll put that in my next cookbook. <laughs> a cum omelet? Yeah. yeah. Ian, cum omelet. You, know, you, kind of look, you kind of look like SJP. Uh, you haven't been told that? Oh. It's just a couple of thousand times. I bet. <laughs> oh, so Jessica Parker. Oh, that that was bet. actually, I was watching, Sorry I said that. officially the gayest sentence. I said the gayest sentence I've ever said in my life. What is that? Why? Well, Sarah Jessica Parker looks like a horse, so. Yeah. But, but horse you don't have that. Thank no, you no, very no. much. You don't have that going. So what Anthony was a blonde. <laughs> oh, me. I, I wouldn't do anything. Don't fucking nail me with that one. Oh, man. We have a language You're thing. I'm just trying to explain buttons. this to them. Oh, man. You're pushing the buttons today. <laughs> I didn't push that one. I didn't push I'm in them. the middle of eating a popcorn. Oh, come, come on. What Ant's trying to say is. No, I didn't say anything. Oh, you hit that. Didn't the family guy say that Sarah Jessica Parker Look like a foot. Yeah, a foot. <laughs> a foot. You got a foot sound effect you want to play for? Her? No, you, you you look like a younger Sarah Jessica Parker. A younger yeah. foot? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. man. No, no, no. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. 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 She, was, she was attractive Anthony. when she was younger. You don't want to be mean to you. know how she dishes out the dirt. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, I saw Anthony <laughs> eating three M and M's. She'll tell other people. Uh, 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 Anthony, I brought her here for you. Oh yeah. So. Well, I'm, what, I'm, be nice. What is she I'm thinking? engaged. <laughs> well, so you what? could be. We won't tell anyone. Huh? What are you thinking, uh, Chef? I yeah. What? Are you are you available? I don't know. Frenchie looks like he's like right on top of her. No, no, that was last night. No, Ooh. no, no. Oh, really? That is all women, and that is just French people in general. Oh, 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 oh. she was the. Um, no. Uh, that's just <laughs> man. Come on, huh? there, tell, there tell must them, be some other animal them noises. About last night. How it was last night. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna tell you. <laughs> All right, so, uh, come on, be nice. Don't be, don't be mean to her. What happened? You were in bed. Your head was in bed with Jack Walsh. What happened? Yeah, How was it last behave. night? You tell it. I'm trying to behave. I can't. No, you, you tell. No, no, you. You're much better. Jack Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, I comply. Oh, tell us. No, what? Tell us. Well, it started. You were on your back and sleeping. Oh, oh la la. And then, I came in from the Rhode side. Island. <laughs> Brooklyn. The Brooklyn. And then. The Izzy. I turn you over, and that's when you woke up. Oh, you you go <laughs> French goes Greek, and you said something like this: Oh, oh, oh damn! Wow. He's implying that you had his wow. penis in your mouth. Yeah, no, that's actually. He's out of your fucking he Blair's actually, cousin Jerry for the facts of life. <laughs> Thank God you didn't words. shower. Yes, just for you. Ah, see? Oh, oh yes. The musky, uh, well, I, the musky smell. Yeah, I don't French, like man. a stinky vagina. I like a nice showered, washed out one. Yeah. No, I you, like... you, you chicken. Uh, no, no. You, you, chicken. Didn't, <laughs> you didn't grow up in he Australia with the blazing heat. Have you seen a girl yeah. who's laid on the beach for five days uh, with the sun pelting down on it? It smells like kill. 
In cold weather, it's okay, but not in the heat. They've got to wash up. I don't like a yeah. tart tasting vagina, like licking a battery tip. I, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they I say know. the best pussy per capita is in Norway. That really deserved a bigger laugh. Have you been there? Yeah, well, I, I yeah. think yeah. Scandinavian pussy is the best looking pussy in the world. They call it butter pussy. Butter pussy. The best. It's all Scandinavian pussy. I like pussy in the Sudan. I say Norway, Finland. Fuck it, put a stick in it. No. Punch it. I tell you what, though, you go to Sweden and do a gig, and it's just, you. You go in the McDonald's and it's like fucking Claudia Schiffer's just there serving it's you. It's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, you've been there too? Yeah. It's ridiculous how hot the women are. It's not just a rumor. It's like they're killing all the ugly people. But they were the last... No, if you, if you go outside of Stockholm, that's where they keep all their brunettes and ugly people. They're like shunned. <laughs> they keep they them make them go to the mountains. Do you know that Swedes were the last people to give up on eugenics? They were sterilizing the disabled in the 80s. Oh, Jesus. You know, in they, the 80s. In the 80s, they were seeing Down syndrome people going, oh, get me a hammer for these testicles. Like, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> they weren't killing them, but they were, you know, they were, they were doing Hitler's work. <laughs> Is it safe to say I'm the only guy in this motherfucking studio who's hit the home run? Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark. Mate, I, I gigged in Europe for a while. I fucked everyone in all those countries. Is that yeah. what we're saying? Yeah, yeah, that's I've, what he's saying. Yeah. I've with, done, with I've done what about door. Luxembourg? <laughs> what about <laughs> paying customers? What about Luxembourg? <laughs> I've, I've, Luxembourg? I've fucked all over Europe, mate. Yeah, this I've, is the second I've, time I've, he's tried to top him, and he hasn't been able to. I know. He's yeah. going. He's over two. When, when was the last time you got laid? You, you look so frustrated. When the last time I got laid? Actually, I can't talk about this anymore. Last uh, time I came on the show, I got dumped. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to keep my Mouth shut. Who, who didn't get laid here last night? Cause it, I didn't get laid last wow. night. Yeah. I think the rest of the studio did. It's a bit, it's oh, a bit quiet here today. Uh, I did? think Jimmy most of us didn't. didn't. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So it's safe to say Why is he going like this? It's safe to say His Highness thing. was the hey, only uh, guy banging he's away the last night. He's the highest, Bill Burr. That's it. <laughs> oh, I, okay. I didn't understand. <laughs> yes, he's the highest. Because he's already lost. There's twice. only two guys have who you, bang in New York. Bang it's a Rod and, and like, His Highness. Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not trying to top you. I just have been lucky on No, your he's trying to top you. That's what I'm liking. You fucking swatted it back twice. You went up there. You have a bang of strip. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it safe to say I'm the only one who hit the home run? Uh, actually, I came up and fucking uh, back to back. <laughs> in all those places. I, I had a Have Norwegian... you been to Luxembourg? He's reaching yeah. for straws. Luxembourg. There were six Norwegian producers at the premiere last night. Because yes, I'm pitching yes, a film. Yes, 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 yes. I, I'm planning on doing a film. His Highness and Anthony do Norway. I want to take Anthony on a road trip. I like yeah. Norweenies. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you should go to Norway with uh, yeah. doc uh, Doctor. Hello, Ian Halpert. Do you want to do, you want to do some TV? I mean, you look better on radio, but do you, wanna, oh, do you want to do you want to make it? You know what? For radio. You gotta give him that one. That's a good one. You know what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I think we'd be a great team. I mean, we used to spar, man. Yeah. When are we gonna spar? Like, I will rent out Madison Square Garden mm -hmm. and go one on one with you in boxing. Why do you want to box why Anthony? Box, what what, what does he talk to you? I don't think I fight. I just shoot people if they and, fuck with me. And why? Yeah. Shoot me? Why I'm bulletproof. This highness is bulletproof, What's dude? wrong with just a local gym? Why Madison Square Garden? <laughs> yeah, as if that, that fight's going to sell out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Call me a halperin. <laughs> <laughs> and in the red corner, oh. another person that no one knows. We got to get Dr. Z in here, too, because then we got Dana White at 10. Where's Dr. Z? Down the hall? Yeah. If they're listening, pee. bring her down. Yeah, where is she? Come on, get her in here. Bring bring on the fucking the salop. Ian, your chef? I'm going to go tank a little bit. What? Your yeah, chef is bring on setup? the sal salop. Say, King, who is it? Uh, I'm what, just... is, what does salop mean? Oh, yeah. Me, uh, it's... Um, it's kind of dirty bitch. Yeah, dirty bitch. Who is? Dirty bitch. Who is? I said. The chef? I said bring on the fucking salop. Oh, is she a setup? No, is she a hot setup? I have to ask Opie, uh, first chef of all, again, Mazel Tov on uh, be I becoming a, f a dad. Thank you. And I know there's something in the water here. I know Steve, he, he, he has a son too yeah, now. Yeah, I guess he does, yeah. Uh, how's it going? It's going well. I have Terrific acid reflux from the stress and lack of sleep. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and I might have my gallbladder taken out. Soon. Oh my god! Thank you. Oh, good. No, it's, it's great. It's like you're a dad. Well, I, 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 just, <laughs> no, it's great. I, I do want to thank you guys for having me on this year. 
the, thank you so much. But the chef is a zilch as far as the radio show goes. Uh, uh, you you know, do know that. She signs these non-disclosures with yeah. all the clients so she can't kiss and tell. Yeah. You usually are with... I know she's fucked some of these clients. She's told me off the record. <laughs> oh, she really oh, has. Nice. Uh, is that why Madonna was so moody? Not enough tongue. Hey, Ian, what do you More got tongue. on the Al Gore situation? Uh, look, the Al Gore saying Al that Gore... he was caught up in a, uh, in a uh, gay sex scandal. I don't think Al Gore likes cock, you know. <laughs> Bill, Bill, no, really. I just Bill, like how serious you Bill, just why, said that. Why are you laughing? This is what he does for a yeah, living. No, Bill, it's fucking you're hilarious. mocking him. Slick Willie. I don't know what he does. He, Slick he's Willie, one of those, like, uh, the, you know, National Enquirer guys. The, the jerk, well, the I'm a bit higher than the Enquirer. I'm New York right, Times sorry, number I'm one. Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. You know, I, I can't even walk in Runyon Canyon because of this show. People come up to me. You know, I'm on I'm Entertainment sure Tonight all the time, Insider. Of they course. come up to me because of this motherfucking show in Runyon Canyon. I, I mean, how do they even recognize me? I, that, I don't know. I it's go to bowling alley in Ventura. The guy booking me into the bowling alley says, "You're His Highness from Opie and Anthony." What do you mean, do this the show is the alley. biggest motherfucking thing on the planet. That's how a king parties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, goes out, he goes out bowling. No, he's out there getting this scoop uh, on the celebrities I, that are bowling there. I think Al Gore <laughs> likes black pussy. Oh, yeah? Wow. That's, really? that's what my sources say. Well, that's that's what's what been being gay. gay. That's your sources. That's your, that's your, <laughs> yeah, wow. he, he, my sources don't say he's gay. What's the gay I scandal he was gay. caught up in then? Well, who, who printed the gay scandal? I heard he was fucking well, a cheer or something. Yeah I, yeah, I don't buy it. Yeah. I don't know what they're saying about it, but it's a headline. And Ant I heard he kind of made the point that it's probably something that he's barely... I mean, it's peripheral. It's not Very him. peripheral. It's and somebody that he knows or some... I heard I agree with you. used to work for him, maybe. I heard he was married to Tipper Gore. That's yeah, what I heard, I heard that too. I heard he was married yeah, to yeah. her, and after 40 years of it, he was like, you know what? <laughs> fuck this shit. Yeah. I've had it. Would anyone here fuck, ruined if, music if, would an anyone here fuck Dipper yes. Gore for a million bucks? Yes. A uh, million bucks? There, there are, are many girls. Right. I wouldn't fuck Why? a million I'd bucks. I'd fuck yes. you for a million bucks. <laughs> 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 That's the answer. Uh, I, I love that question. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's a million bucks. So why wouldn't uh, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suggesting anyone in here has morals. That, right. it's like, right. how, it's, that Adam's apple on Timber Gore has always scared me. A little rough. Uh -oh. How You're, long? Um, <laughs> where's this how short would Indecent Proposal that movie be if they asked oh, that question? <laughs> really? I don't know Come where on. Dr. Z is. What happened? E-Rock was in the bathroom. He's getting her now. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. What the fuck was he doing in there? Exactly. Eating a urinal cake. <laughs> <laughs> Just had the word cake in it. He to, couldn't exactly. resist. To everyone yeah. listening in Montreal, Norton's coming to Montreal. Norton. Every, everyone, Norton. let's pack it. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing the nasty show. That's yeah. soon, right? Um, I'm doing, no, I'm doing fr Friday, uh, the next Friday, I'm in... Chicago with Chicago. Geraldo, but uh, I'm doing it in Montreal. Bob Kelly's doing it with me, too. That's awesome. And Geraldo, I, I want to go up there, but Mike I got the Walmart. kitty in. You got any babysitters I'm, I'm, I'm up there? Up, no up problem. There Dude, I'll, I'll uh, be up there as well. Yeah. We're all oh, you're all going up. up. I want to go. I'm doing, uh, Give me a I'm babysitter. Doing there, I'll babysit. Uh, the solo run at the theater. Oh, really? Do you have a hot babysitter? No, uh, it's just no, me and my wife so far. Okay, because I know I know a lot of hot babysitters. I want. I love playing the game Bang the Babysitter. Have you ever played that? I want... Jeez. Yeah. Right. I want a good babysitter, not yeah. a hot one. Yeah. All right, here comes a Dr. A good, hot-looking babysitter. <laughs> Speaking of which. Scandinavian babysitter. A good, flexible. Hey, uh, uh, Jill oh, Nicolini is a great Jeffrey's. babysitter. Holy she will, fuck. She'll oh, get naked, too. So. She'll get naked, so you let's work this. Dr. Z. Hi, Dr. Z. Hey, oh, my hey, God. Hello. 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 You didn't tell me I'm going to fuck Dr. Z today. <laughs> <laughs> For people who are, can't see this, the, the French can, guy can, just can pulled can his Can you take out. off your shoes? <laughs> I have a foot fetish. Can you, I, like, I just want to see your like feet. This is how we say hello. Let me see your feet. feet. Oh. Oh, my, oh, my oh, God. On. Nice. Somebody has to suck oh, on those thanks, toes thanks. while she's doing the she interview. They're hot. Well, why don't you, Ian? Paul Prevenza in Penthouse. Man. How do I, how do <laughs> I turn up Dr. Z? I'm saying everything now. That's not Dr. Z. Where's Dr. Z on this fucking board? What? <laughs> you just turned up like music or some I shit. Well, I, I write a column. Oh, there you go. Remember? Right. I, I'm a columnist. I'm not yes. in actual in Doc, this magazine. Doc. I didn't say what. What happened? Doc, we're, I could. We're just saying hi. Are you going to have an that, orgasm just looking at me? That's Ian Halperin. Uh, she's his I highness. Tried, his I highness think to the dog. You're gonna have an orgasm just looking at me. No, you're gonna look. I, I could tell the puss is a bit wet already walking into the studio. <laughs> oh, God. This no, is Ian I, at his best. You Go know, ahead, guess Ian. what? I just saw him this morning, so I'm all set. What my was toys, uh, my best you're friend. You're being denied. <laughs> oh, open the mouth. Let me see. <laughs> Not wow. a dentist. Not bad. That's a tongue. That, Do it again. Oh la la. He's la roi de France.
He's not French. Yeah. They know you, French have, have guy really fuck, goes, oh, la, la. That's have you ever fucked a French guy? Yeah. 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 all the time. You don't yeah. think he's French, Bill Burns? He sounds like somebody auditioning to the sexiest people I've ever seen. Hold on, hold on. Everyone's talking at the same time. He sounds like he's auditioning to do the voice for Pepe Le Pew. Do you want to be a babysitter? call me Pepe. It's true. Pepe? Here's your babysitter. What? Dr. Z. Yeah, that's what you want to do. My, my kid would love she, those she, milk uh, bags. Just, uh, <laughs> lift up your toes for open. I mean, th these are the hottest you feet. You have a foot she fetish, should, huh? Oh, she should be doing commercials. They're a little calloused on the bottom. You yes, that, yes. You why need don't the you pen. That's from them. all the cum on it. But yeah, why don't you work on my toes? Take those. Oh, 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 scrape, scrape those calluses right off with your tongue. Ian, why don't you get over with there and work the feet? Maybe not. I, I, I'll, I'll massage the foot. All right, get over there. Massage the foot. And then sprinkle it on fucking pasta. It's like he just brought ripus into the studio. What is he doing? There really is no tack to their game. It's just really... Blunt. He is now like because of the cum twisting. on your foot. He's twisting his fist he's, into the bottom of the foot. He's fisting the bottom of the foot, basically. She's, she's that move. Come. You have such I, a I'm going to make the dog cum on air. Yeah. Is it, it, does it smell? Dr. Z, is this uh, a turn on? How does it feel? Uh, it's relaxing. I he can't has, say that it's He right. has a foot fetish, definitely. Well, you, they you smell. Grab the, the feet right. smell, man. I got, oh. you know. Lick, lick her foot. I love it. Uh, lick it. Payless, where are they God from? Damn it. <laughs> I don't know. Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture. Oh. Juicy Couture. I'm a, uh, what happened to my places? mic, guys? I don't think my mic's no, working. It's working. We hear it. Your headphones probably on. Maybe your headphones are on. Open up the mic. Open up the mic. Jesus Christ. Ian is just a fucking Okay, everybody's got the normal. Normal mic. I have a phallus shaped mic. Uh, how's this, Bill? Oh, it feels amazing. God, I didn't know this I was going to get a massage on this, this show. Is this is Highness Half Touch? Yeah, this is great. <laughs> you getting a boner there, uh, Ian? <laughs> well, no, because it's going to come through here. And I go, oh, really? Oh, oh, is that oh, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say they're, you know, the only guy with a bigger schlong than his mind is Gary Coleman. Schlong, yeah. Yeah. Gary yeah. Coleman's schlong was bigger than him. It was big, uh, yeah. The he big had a big one. one. It was huge. And here, uh, uh, I always thought guys, Forrest Tucker had a big you one. You guys ready that's for your next act? That's why he had the bright hemorrhage. He got an erection and just popped down. Keep moving going, along. Keep talking. Here, take off the jacket. Now we went from... Uh, yeah, Doctor Z, yeah. please take off the jacket. Take off the jacket. Please take off the jacket. Yeah. 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 Take off the jacket. Take off the jacket. It's the energy. You need to feel the energy. Take off your jacket, Doctor Z. I want to feel her We'll promote the hell out of your penthouse calm. In the latest issue of Penthouse, Dr. Z is doing her thing. She does Dr. a very good Z job. Dr. Z is starting to sleep. Oh, yeah. A, 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 I, I think I'm going to take wow. Dr. Z on the road sleep. with is me for my next doctor? movie. I don't, I don't think I you don't can handle Dr. No, Z and no. no. Ian Halper. Like Dr. Dre, isn't it? Yeah. What kind of doctor are you, Dr. <laughs> Z? What is Ian doing? Ian, what are you doing? Explain for the radio. Just have, just have a moment of meditation, a moment oh, of silence. For fuck's sake. Think of my gonna uppercut her in the tit. <laughs> think of the last big black cock that was in you and meditate on it. Wow. Really? <laughs> you, and you do the same, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you think too, right? You think what we're thinking. All right, good. Because uh, we've always thought that. Oh, what, with his shaved tan legs? As usual, yeah. yeah, business as usual. All right, Dr. Z's oh, Dr. Z's making some awful it's faces. It's just a little intense it's massage. A... Yeah, I would start a little soft. Yeah, what are you doing, yeah, Ian? He's really digging it's like in. Dip -tish, dip -tish he well, looks like he took a massage energy, class. Actually. She, do you do yeah. yoga or something? Because you're, you're no. very... Centered. No, I've never done yoga Very in my life. Centered. Oh, it's These horrible. lines are like from Terrible. the 70s book, yeah. How to Pick Up Chicks. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Well, you read it's all like those awful books. Yes, you wrote those books. I, I really did. Yeah. Yeah. Stop yeah. staring up my it's cock. Like, it sounds like uh, something you'd say you with are, a fondue. You're staring up my cock, Anthony. I can't see your cock. The yeah. Dr. Yeah. Z is making up funny. stuff. Anthony, it's like those awful mind readers. I'm, I'm picturing a, a woman. No, actually, it was a guy. A, yeah. a man. Oh, no, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Sort of an effeminate man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta say, Z. the doc's got amazing energy. No wonder she's so successful. She's making oh, horrible energy. faces in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it feel? Hey, ask her what her sign is. <laughs> I think it's the middle finger towards you. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Jim Jeffries knows like, how to fucking insult people. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's like great. Around my, yeah. My head. Yeah. Now he's. What is he doing to the top of your head? He's pushing it down. He's probably used to doing that. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they fight back. You know,
I'm an expert at foot massage. I walk over people's bodies. If you want to lie down, I'll, I'll give you the foot yeah, massage. Yeah, you did that to Michael Jackson. Oh, can you do that? <laughs> oh, oh, rejected in front of a million people. Mm. Why didn't you lay down and I'll walk on you? That works. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right, let's do that. He's right. a good sport. He's up for anything. I'm, oh, God. I'm very zen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're certainly very zen. Let's go. Take off your shoes. <laughs> there we go. He's going to have a woman does, walk does over his back. Some, uh, Mint? Know, Fabre or something? For the what, Fabre? Fabre? What, what are you, the French guy? You mean Febreze? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so let's Ooh, go. I got some I'll fucking Windex. Yes, you can walk on my back. Yeah, oh, Windex God. is great. Mr. Yeah. Bentley. I didn't know this fucking... would be like a massage session. <laughs> yeah, uh, what the know. fuck? Now we got Dr. Z, who, what are you, what are you like, uh, what would you consider yourself, a sex uh, I'm, expert? I'm, yeah, psychologist and a sex, sex expert. Psychologist no, and sex a, expert. So why massage We have a lot in common. Oh, oh we have a lot in common. Oh, yes. All I keep hearing is that stupid tape Arnold Schwarzenegger was playing in fucking True Lies. <laughs> yeah. Duh, do it slowly. <laughs> do it up and out. Hey, can we get a mic on uh, Ian? He's got one right next. Ian, you're yeah. right down there. Oh man, this feels, you know, this is like a woman. Come in a few minutes. Like a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It come in a few minutes. <laughs> fucking. What, 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 what is he doing? He's you're not really walking the... over him. You're just standing on him. I hope you're just laying in just, fucking. Just jump up and Bolo's down or something. on that rug. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see a lot of stains here, guys. A lot of stains on this yeah, rug. Yeah, there's plenty of stains on the rug, and none of them are why, good. Why you walk on his back? Does the French guy have a sex question for the sex expert? <laughs> yes, Dr. French Z. guy. That's why she's here. She's yes. very, very talented. She's a sex expert, so you. I just think everyone in France is a sex expert. Of course, they do courses. At school. Yes. What do you got, Frenchie? Dr. Z. Yes. When do you know the good time for anal sex with a woman? Good time? I have to precise yeah. because here we when have the, the UK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drink number <When> the... 12. <laughs> <laughs> After the fifth punch. <laughs> Well, we, first you obviously have to put your tongue or your finger in there, and if she likes it... In the anal? Uh, in the no, anal. No, no, no. In the anal. In the anal. In the ass. So, yeah. 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 So okay. Obviously, if she likes that, then I don't like to kiss a them. green light to do more. I wouldn't just kind of yeah. surprise her at 6 a.m. in hey, the morning. Hey, Frenchie, you dip your tongue in there, you, you go into the stink? <laughs> For sure. Yeah? All For right. sure. All the way. But one time, I was with a UK girl. Yeah, they're, and, the, they're the easiest women on earth, man. Yeah. No, and I put my thumb in, oh, yeah. and, and she turned around mad at me, and she said, "No way!" And yeah. before she knew it, my penis was in there. So, oh, wow. And then she loved it. There you go. Which, in which was girls, thank yeah. God smaller than the thumb. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how do you know when they mean yes and when they mean no? Well, when they, they say with no, the, with English girls, one in the pink and one in the stink is one in the pussy and one in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, some, some, right, there's, there's some British accents that you, when you're fucking a chick, it's just sh shut up, don't talk, seriously. All right, you're killing me here. Hold on one second. Now, I, mean, I would just try, keep uh, trying. If she's right, not right. slapping you, then well, she probably likes mm. it. No, yeah, I asked her to slap me. I like that. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so no slap means yes. The show's getting even busier. We got Dana White on the phone here. Oh my God, how's yeah. this? Dana, right you you picked a, a crazy day, sir. Yes, I did. I don't even know how to explain what's going on today. And Jim's being so quiet. What's yeah. up, Dana? <laughs> how are you? I'm good, buddy. How are you doing? Good. You're in Vancouver now? You like that? I am. You are amazing. You've done this before. Oh, Yeah, we're on the phone. Hold on. Do, do it on the tour. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's just talking into the rug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wish he was wrapped in it, bleeding from the temple. <laughs> Dana, it's it's crazy in here. Yeah, we it's got like twelve people in studio. Today. We have like twelve microphones on, but I'm trying to turn off some of these mics. Hey, are you worried about uh, Liddell fighting? No, because no, you you had said that he wasn't going to fight again in the UFC, and I've Reed Harris sent me a photo of him. He looks better than I've ever seen him look. It's incredible, man. And and, and that was my big beef with him. My big beef was that he wasn't. Uh, you know, he wasn't doing the right thing. He wasn't doing what he was supposed to do, which is train and stay in shape and stay out of the nightclubs. Mm -hmm. He was out, uh, you know, partying all the time. And the fact that he's uh, he's taking this thing so serious and gotten in such great shape, I feel great about it. I couldn't believe last week, uh, or, or was it two weeks ago? Uh, yeah, it was like a, a little over a week ago when you fucking dumped Tito. You really, uh, you don't play games. I could not believe <laughs> that you booted him off the show. Yeah, um... <laughs> Well, the, the reality is, you know, the, in the show, 
these guys are supposed to fight at the end. And Tito basically came out and said he wasn't going to fight. So, but you you, to be there. you sit there in the office. He's like, "Come on, I I got one more guy fighting," and uh, and you're like, "Yeah, I know." And you just kind of <laughs> left him hanging there to go, oh, "All right." And that, that was really uh, embarrassing for him. I don't think so. I don't think it was embarrassing for him. I mean, what, what did he expect me to do when he came out and said, hey, listen, I'm not going to fight Chuck? I think he thought no, you'd replace him, but not on the show. Yeah. I think he I think he was shocked that you actually yanked him. And, boy, you guys got a picture of fucking Rich Franklin pretty quick. <laughs> you guys have that rolled up in the back waiting? <laughs> Who's a better fight? Dude, that, that was the best episode, though, as far as everything. That dude, that dude who quit in the ring. Oh, you watch it? Okay. Oh, yeah, God. Bill Burns' studio. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were really a funny guy. Yeah, no, it's the best reality show on TV as far as every other one. There's some sort of bitchy way mm -hmm. that you get kicked off the show. That show, you literally get beaten out of the house. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Yeah, that's, that's how it should be with all these shows. This dude, dude, this dude, show. this dude <laughs> quit. I know. Oh, this dude quit on the stool. Jamie and every, yeah, and everyone was just like, what a fucking pussy. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there going, I probably would have. The guy that Norton said would win last time. Th I, I, I know. I, I really do prove how little I know about ultimate fighting. I thought that guy was unbeatable. I, I was like the guy that he punks out in a fucking club. And uh, Josh beat him. And Josh was a small guy who I thought was going to get the shit beat out of him. Yeah, I know. Everybody thought that was going to happen. Except, you know what you got you to gotta look at, too? How great of a coach Chuck is. I mean, yeah. uh, I don't know if you remember the beginning of the season where I, I was kind of ragging on the guys that he His picked. His picks, yeah. Was blown away. And then Tito was like high-fiving everybody because he had the best team. But Chuck, uh, Chuck, Chuck's, a good, Chuck's a, 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 a real good with strategy, knows fighting, and uh, really, really did a great coaching job. I yeah. think you were... Uh... Uh, you, it's very. I was in when you were in the studio, and I'm like, "Oh, Jaeger's gonna win the whole thing." What a fucking! How did you not just spit on me and go, "You're a dumb motherfucker"? Because <laughs> I just took a cheap shot at you, actually, because I know the, I knew the results before, but I, I said the same thing. Jaeger looks so good in his first few fights. It's like, man, this kid's gonna be tough to beat. We actually just started filming the new uh, the new season last week. And the fights already this season. The fights are listen to this. The fights are so good this season. And there's there's a, a few kids that I really like uh, on this season. I, I'm in Vancouver. I almost flew back to Vegas for the fight yesterday. I, I, I seriously was contemplating jumping on the plane and flying back to Vegas just to watch the fight yesterday. So you start shooting the next season. The finals uh, between uh, uh, McCray and McGee have not happened, right? Right. When are they when are they happening tonight? Uh, no, the, the finale is. Uh, you talking about the finale? Yeah, when, when actually yeah. McCray fights uh, Corby Gay. Ch Chuck Liddell uh, and Rich Franklin fight tomorrow, um, and then next week is the finale. So the coaches, one of them has to lose that fight and then go to their guys' fight? Um, yeah. Rich Franklin, do you think he matches up better against Liddell than uh, Tito did? Because I think, I think that yeah, everyone yeah, knew no. that Chuck would have beat the shit out of Tito again. A lot of people were asking me that. I, I do think it's a good matchup. And I also think that Chuck Liddell, I mean, uh, uh, Rich Franklin is, is very underrated. A very underrated fighter. Plus, you, you know what else? Not, 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 not a lot of people have been talking about, but this card is sick. Paulo Tiago is fighting Martin Campman uh, on this card, too. Um, and the guy who wins that fight is, is, is uh, you know, in the mix in the 170-pound division. Heavyweights, Gilbert Ivell and Ben Rothwell. Carlos Condit and uh, Rory McDonald are fighting on this card. And a, and a big fight that everybody's talking about on the prelims that people want to see is Tyson Griffin and uh, Evan uh, Dunham. Evan Dunham. <clears throat> You forgot one. Is Crow Cop still fighting? Yeah, Crow Cop and, and, and uh, Pat Barry. Pat Barry. Well, that's a co-main. I mean, everybody's been talking about that one, too. Did you see the press conference with those two yesterday? I did not. Hilarious. If you get a chance, watch. The, uh, go online and check out yesterday's press conference. I thought Crow Cop um, left. Pat, what's that? I thought Crow Cop quit or was going to do something else. No, no. He, he took some time off, and uh, he actually just fought. And, uh, and, and won, and, and seems to, to be in, uh, you know, mentally in the right place, and and, and wants to keep fighting. Were you surprised? I was kind of surprised that Josh did not look good against Chris McRae at all in the in the last fight. I mean, it wasn't he didn't look terrible, but he looked a lot better against fucking Jaeger than he did against Chris McRae. I agree 100. percent I I totally agree with you. Was he overconfident? Was, uh, you think? I don't know what it was. It, it was weird. Um, he, he looked so good in that fight, um, and, and then came out and, and and tanked that last one. Yeah, it was definitely weird. <laughs> So what happens now? I mean, does, is there ever a shot that Jaeger will fight in the UFC? There is, right? Um, yeah, well, Jaeger's going to fight in the finale next weekend. Okay. Jaeger's in the finale. I, I, just, I just know one Jaeger. 
Makes me throw up. Yeah, the one you know is the <laughs> yeah. yeah. yes. This Jaeger fights. Yeah. Anthony's Jaeger makes him shit blood into his <laughs> fucking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so is Tito done with the UFC? Um, no, no, Tito's not. Tito's actually went and had neck surgery, oh. and. Um, you saw me in that in, in, in that episode saying we're going to send you to a doctor yes. right now. Yeah. Diagnose what's going on, and, and if uh, if that's the case, I think you should get two opinions. And if that's the case, we'll get we'll get you the best surgeon you know in the country to get it done. And did the doctor give the second opinion and said this really is a yep. problem? Yeah. Okay, so Tito wasn't fucking around. He really was legitimately hurt. He really was legitimately hurt. Vancouver, by the way, I, I was there many, many years ago, 1990. I got blown there in an alley. <laughs> I got blown in an alley for, uh, I think it was uh, $80, and I, and I threw in my last 20. Another girl let me rub her hiney. Me and what, my what a coincidence. <laughs> Ian blew someone there at the same date. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still great street hookers in Vancouver, because it really wasn't. The, the hottest girls I've ever seen in my life were street prostitutes in Vancouver. No, uh, you know I, I have just got hookers, man. Drive, the window, the uh, hotel, and there were, uh, yeah, there were girls everywhere on the corners. So did you get any? <laughs> no, get any? No, I didn't. What do you, how do you not get hookers? Like, are you? Do you just like bang girls because, they, like, they want to fuck the head of the UFC? Or uh, paying for prostitutes is much easier. <laughs> Dude, I'm so busy, man. I don't have time. I go straight from the thing to my hotel. We went out last night. I went and watched the Celtics game last night, and uh, I got I got this bet with Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg and Mike Epps and, and, and me and Donnie Wahlberg for 20 grand that, uh, you know, the Lakers, uh, the Celtics are going to beat the Lakers in the series. I'm going to guess that the, are the white guys actually, oh my God, the white guys are taking the, uh, the Celtics and the black guys are taking the Lakers. <laughs> I mean, who would have guessed that? <laughs> so I, uh, I went out last night and I watched the game and I was at this, this uh, pretty cool sports bar here in Vancouver, and there were a lot of people in there, and there were girls all there, and they were like, hey, let's go on part. I'm like, nah, I'm going back to my hotel room, and I'm going to bed. I got open in Anthony 7. <laughs> Very responsible of He's, you. Well, that's why he is who he is. I know. That's Very responsible I love how people guy. always think that you can run like a multi-million dollar corporation, just like, just you know, yeah, partying, partying and, and getting hookers. And, and getting hookers, right. Dude, you must just get blown every five seconds. <laughs> Actually, no. It's a, it's a fucking empire, and it takes up 25 hours a day. <laughs> Trying to hold it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I really do have an 11-year-old boy mentality with business. <laughs> <laughs> do you spend all your money on hookers and nice cars? I really am an asshole. <laughs> you flop. And he would never answer that question. <laughs> uh, shit. But uh, yeah, I, I proved how little I knew by that. How, who do you see winning against? I, I fucking really, really like Court McGee a lot. I really do too. And uh, you know, he, he was the dark horse in that thing. And, and uh, wow, man, he, it, it's crazy too how much better he got as the show went on. Yeah. And uh, he, he's a tough, durable guy. It's, it's going to be an interesting fight. How long is he? He's off drugs. He was doing heroin and stuff. How long since yeah. he's? Yeah, he's like yeah. A, a recovering drug addict. How long has he been like off all that stuff? I don't know exactly how long he's been off it, but yeah, you're, you're right. He's, he's a recovering uh, uh, junkie. Do you think that Jaeger quit because I mean, I was, I do, I, I was really shocked that he didn't. I mean, do you think he just got rocked in that first round? By the way, I think the judges were very generous giving them a third round. I thought he lost both yeah, rounds. Yeah, I thought too. I thought I, it was over. I, I, I thought they should have just. Uh, I think sometimes they do that just to keep it interesting. Uh, and in that case, it really looked like he lost both of those rounds. Do you think he just got rocked in that first round and lost all of his heart? If the judges are doing that to keep it interesting, that is a problem. Um, the the uh, yeah, I think he. I don't know if he. I think he got rocked in the beginning of the thing, but I think he was exhausted. I think he was exhausted and and didn't want to go to that third round. Uh, how about? Did you see the kick that he landed at the beginning of the of the fight? I mean, he he was literally level with the top of the bar at, on the octagon. I mean, the kid's an incredible athlete. Yeah, and, and you know. He's only going to get better. I'm sure he got out of there and hooked up with a great camp and and trained. But we'll we'll see what happens in the uh, in the finale. Yeah, by the third round he was like, oh, by the second round he was trying to do spin kicks. He just looked like me turning around with my nervous twitch when I was in little league. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus Christ, your foot's got to come off the ground before it hits somebody. So I, I think everybody was happy to see him lose. And then fucking Casey calls him outside to fucking to fight him for real in the uh, in the yard, and he stays in the house. He's like coming off. And again. In that world, he's coming off looking like a guy who just talks a lot of shit and can't back it up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say he couldn't back it up. He, he did, he, he, you know, right up until that fight, he was, uh, you know, 
he was looking real good. Also, if you fight at the house, then Dana shows up and goes, what the fuck? This is exactly what we're trying not to project. I think that one of the best episodes was that time that dude body slammed the guy right outside the pool. Yeah. And yeah. cracked his head open. I saw that that was amazing because they always would come close to having a fight and then right. they wouldn't have a fight. And somebody right. finally crossed that line, like, and they fuck it. Yeah, yeah. what happens they if they have a limo ride to the airport? Yeah. Right. <laughs> they do enjoy, enjoy, enjoy Applebee's. <laughs> Is that the rule if you fight in the house? You got to go because it's a fucking house full of alpha males. Yes. Yeah, you can't put your hands on each other. You know, we did have a real weird season uh, with Junie Browning, where this kid was an absolute nut, and uh, you know, kept uh, kept starting fights with the bigger guys. It was when we had both the fifty-five pounders and and uh, the light heavyweights together. And uh, this kid kept causing problems, threw something at somebody, did some other stuff, but I didn't kick him out. I made him stay and I made him fight. Oh, is that that yeah. Billy Idol looking dude who spit yeah, on the kid's exactly. black belt? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Billy Idol. <laughs> you, you, you know what you want to do? I, I can't fight for shit, but you want to have me in the next season and don't tell anybody I'm a comic because believe me, they wouldn't know if they've been watching television for the last five years. <laughs> um, you want to have me in there and just in my awful body and all I do is like like avoid training and hit on them in the shower. That'd be a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and then you film them talking about the fucking weirdo with the fat tits. <laughs> Why is that guy here? This guy's looking at my cock and just rubbing his fat tits in the shower. It's creepy. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, well, the fight Wait, is... Where do you come up with this shit, Norton? I don't know. <laughs> It's usually not on the air. It's usually when I'm jerking off into a sock. I'm like, oh, I, I could talk about that on this show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we got a room full of people here, and it's, it's uh, we're almost ready to wrap the show up. Uh, let's plug UFC 115. It's uh, Vancouver, British uh, Columbia at the General Motors Palace. Are there tickets available, or is it sold down and only the pay-per-view? Yeah, yeah, it's it's sold out. Yeah, this guy sells out. I, mean, I figured it would be. Yeah. Um, it's Saturday, June the 12th. Tomorrow, Se tomorrow night, seven o'clock. Yeah, seven o'clock West Coast time, right? Yep. Okay, and it's obviously East Coast. Ten o'clock Eastern. Gotcha. Ten o'clock Eastern. The uh, the main events are uh, Crow Cop against Pat Barry, and of course the main main event is uh, Chuck Liddell you know, versus Rich Franklin. He didn't ask him if he found a Pinkberry in Vancouver. No Pinkberry up here. Oh, are no. you dying or he what? He tweeted Dana? that he didn't go to Pinkberry. <laughs> Actually, I, I I tweeted yesterday. I worked out at this uh, gym down. The street. Steve Nash has a gym up here. It's incredible. Nicest gym I've ever seen. Nice. So that's all you do on the road is pretty much eat Pinkberry and work out <laughs> and run a fucking, much. like Bill said, an empire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, my idea is going to be a fucking hit. I've already pitched myself to Jersey Shore. Partying all night, but, you know. I know, Norton. Do you go to all the Six Flags yeah. with, like, hookers and ride the roller coasters yeah, I really did ask and run your empire? Yeah. Does everybody eat cotton candy in the house? Ugh. I should be bukkake by Haitians. All right. Um, all right, Dana. Always a pleasure. You know that. Uh, we'll, I'll talk to you soon, man. UFC 115 tomorrow night. 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. And uh, Eastern. I'm happy to see Liddell fighting again because I know he was fucking miserable when he's not fighting. True. Very true. Where does Liddell go uh, from uh, here? If it... Norton, hey, actually, Norton, remember the night at your show uh. down in L.A.? We show up at that show, right? And um, he, he, we get there. He starts having drinks. He's drunk in like 20 minutes yeah. and acting like a lunatic. Talking during your show. Yeah. And then we go outside and he starts leg kicking people. And I was just, you know. <laughs> Dude, look, Chuck, talk, you know, a year ago. Chuck was fucking, I was standing outside the in the improv talking to Liddell for probably 20 minutes. And Chuck's a lean in talk kind of guy. Um, oh, yeah. And he's just when like. He's drunk he is, yeah. But he was being very pleasant. He's like, ah, 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 and his arms were all out. And everybody at the improv thought that he was going to put my fucking head through a wall. <laughs> they didn't know if we were friends or if he was actually fucking. So I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> tried to come to your assistance. <laughs> yeah, they all. Did. They were all just like getting paint to fucking cover up the blood stains that would. I, I want to hear about the leg kicking outside the club, though. Who would take a leg kick from Chuck Liddell? Yeah, he was leg kicking people. And uh, who's the guy? The guy performed with you that night from uh, Hot Tub Time Machine. Um, Craig, uh, Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson. <laughs> okay. Black so guy, right? He, yeah. Yeah, Craig Robinson. He's out there, and uh, Chuck is trying to talk him into slapping people. And it was just, you know, <laughs> my, my point of this story is this, yeah. is this is what I was looking at a year ago. Right. And I was just like, you, you, bro, it's over. You don't want to fight anymore. Why, why would you want to fight anymore? You've accomplished everything. You got tons of money, you know, and, and, and apparently this is, this is what you want to do now. You want to party. And uh, that's why I'm saying when I say this guy completely turned himself around, I mean, 
physically, he didn't look this good when he was 22. Right, as right. He looks now. Well, so. what I wanted to ask, I know we have to let you go. If Chuck Liddell wins tomorrow night, where does he go from here? I'll be interested. You know, we'll, if, if he wins tomorrow and looks impressive, then, you know, this is a guy, it's not like we're going to baby this guy. He'll shoot right to the top and, and, and start fighting uh, Some... the top of the heap at 205 pounds. Fuck. Right on. All right. How about you bring a nice sober Liddell to one of my shows, too? Uh, because <laughs> Chuck was talking, and he was kind of like, but he wasn't being belligerent. He was just like, ah, ah, ah kind of heckling. And I'm like, well, I guess you want to heckle, feel free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you really and don't come back show, to him. Like, and I was telling him, I was like, dude, stop. Shh. Be quiet. I want to hear this. You know what I mean? I came here for a reason. Yeah, trust <laughs> yeah, It's hard to shush Liddell. Yeah. Like babysit yeah, Chuck Liddell. Could you imagine, Bill? Yeah, sometimes oh, yeah. you just got to let them oh, heckle. Christ. Dude, even if you didn't know he was a UFC fighter, the second you see that mohawk yeah. and that one pink fingernail just <laughs> daring you to fuck with him, yeah. I would just be, hey, you know, whatever you want to yell. If any, any yeah. point you want to come up here and tell a couple jokes, I'm, I'm all right. Any white guy with a barrel chest and Asian letters on his head is a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you soon, man. UFC 115 tomorrow night, and of course, I'm pulling very, uh, very hard for Liddell, who I really genuinely like. Thank you, guys. I, Have a great day. I'll talk All to right. you soon, man. Dana White, everyone. Bye. Uh, well, very good. Dr. Z, yes. back to you because yeah, we're Dr. running out Z. of show. Why the fuck are you in here? Yeah, what do you got going on? You know what I've got going on. I'm always plugging my penthouse column. I've got a bunch of toys I was going to show you guys, but oh, I think we're shit. out of time. So oh, no, 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 what do you what got? Kind what kind of, of toys? I don't know. I had a, the, the penthouse. They sent the whole box. I don't know what you guys did with Ian, it. Ian, would you take oh. a toy from Dr. Z? Man, I, I think the feet are the only thing real on her, oh but they're God. hot. <laughs> uh, do you have foot implants? Oh. Whoa! Uh, yeah. No, but she's so hot. I, she, she just yeah. came in. Do you have something in a strap-on dildo? <laughs> I don't, I don't know yeah. if I brought that, but we do have a yeah. whole box, unless you guys already played with the stuff, because I don't know what happened. Yeah, have you, have oh, you got boy, Iraq's for... shaking his head. What happened to Iraq to the oh, box of sex toys? Deal. They're coming? All right. So I got sex yeah, toys. Just did a 20-minute interview. I didn't and have I'm... time to grab the box. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks, Bill. You're Thanks. absolutely right. Yeah, because when we say it, they look, like... roll their eyes like, oh, <laughs> the box. you're absolutely right. Why wouldn't all of her stuff be down be here? Be ready. Oh, because then boy. it would be a seamless segue. Right. That's Instead what would be the problem. Awkwardly trying to. All right, let's see what the fuck we uh, got. Can I, can I have some lube? I some like kind of... to treat myself from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't like the dry jerk all the time, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, you like every now and again, you, you, you treat yourself like you go, I'm going to be a bit fancy. I'm going to I'm gonna have a wank and a shower. <laughs> yeah. He has a rug burn by now. He needs that. could be the worst sex toy. I don't don't like this when they start making lube with tingling for her and warning lubrication for him. Just make it slippery. Try it out. What is what is warning lubrication? What what is warning lubrication? I like lubrication that's like slippery for you and like crushed glass for her. They call they call that moss glass. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not into these uh, little. These are like little fucking. They're a little too silly. For vibrators for the chick. A little too silly. Yeah, the lipstick. Well, these fucking are for vibrating girls. thing. You got ridiculous. something in a uh, big rubber uh, well, tube that a cock goes in, and we've got. Well, we've got plenty of the <laughs> pussy sleeve. Like, what was that Bronson movie? Remember that? It's for jerking yeah, off. Yeah, what he held that for? Ten to midnight. Jerking off. Walt Warren, the guy Warren, who was running in the greatest ass ever. That fucking <laughs> naked guy <laughs> through the street. It's not. Warning lubricant. It's warming lubricant. Warning. That's a completely warning. different yes. word. Yeah. Warning warning I thought it gave you a tingle like, it's about to come. <laughs> I'm going to use it. I'm using it. Z, what are you wearing? It's rape juice. Z, what, what type, <laughs> of, like cold penis. What type of floss are you wearing under those pants today? Where do you, where do you shop? Yeah. What, what type Probably of the same place you get yeah. your underwear. I have a, a cute little, very, like, gold little... Um, Bikini type thing. You know what? I don't well, believe you. Yeah, I don't believe you. Ian, I, I believe. I work your so. magic, will you? I believe She's you. Gonna, but I'd like Z, to take Z, your clothes off. Z, Z, <laughs> let, let's, let's see what you got under. Just a little peek. Yeah, Ian, work your magic. A yeah. little peek. I, I, I want to yes. see. Well, I, I've got to, everybody's got to ask. I don't see. Oh, I, 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 please, 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 please. Uh, yeah, yeah, for me. Just take it out. I asked you in French for you. Yeah, Doctor Z. Everyone's got to ask. S'il vous plaît, en français. S'il te plaît, ma chérie. Fais me voir. Montre ta culotte. Come on. That was the sex, the sex version of like, how's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Oh, come on. You guys can do better. Friday night. How's everybody doing? Let's just see a titty. Come on. Okay. You can do better. 
I F. Just, let's end it this way with a little peek from Z. Yeah, it's the end of our Friday show. Hold on, hold on. Do it. You got a choice. You can see the boobs or you can see the butts. So let's do a vote. What's the third choice? Let's see what you stand up. Let me see your ass. I'd like a fisted vagina. Is that choice on the? He's betting on green. The boobs is who's out the bra or who's the bra? Oh, see now. Is the boobs wide uh, open? Uh, the boobs, I can pull down the bra. Uh, she will pull ah. down the bra. So which I, one do you go? Let's take a vote. Let's take I, a I, vote. I'd uh, like the boobs. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. I take the boob, but you have to shake a bit. I want the French foreskin with a staple in it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? A little boob. What happened? <laughs> you lost what the happened? war. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. That's good. Uh, well, should we give the deciding vote to the cook? Which one? All of them. But <laughs> so you know what? Because we're we busy. Three boobs. Oh, for the love of God! Just right, make up works. your mind. You do it. Yeah. What's, what's with the uh, Surprise example? us. Hold on. Are we going to get both no. the boobs or just one tip? Because if us. we're getting one, I want the left one. Come on, guys. Boobs. No, no. Boobs. It's boobs. boobs. Let's, boobs. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Please. Boobs. 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 Yeah, there you go. Do 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 do. Uh, and dun, 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 I fucking love when we're slowly unbuttoning her uh, Ooh. little uh, dun, top there. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, oh, move, 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 move. Got, uh, hey, what do you think so far? Yeah. 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 They, they look real. They look real? Ooh. Oh. There we go. Wow. Let me just go Those a close slacks look, look yeah. like they're a little tight. So Those are great nipples. On the waist. <laughs> they, they, are, they are very good. It's a very good job. Do you have Jesus Christ. Any Febreze? Ian, you're getting Ian, way you're in a little there. too close to the <laughs> nipple. Other people want to watch. No. Yeah, get your big dumb head out of the They're way. Hot. She yeah. has a, oh, thank it, you. Thank you for your expert what's, opinion. What's, what size oh. is this? What size Let's is get a this? shot on Twitter. Well, and yet, you, you, no, I'm not. They don't, no. they don't uh, yeah, do that on Twitter. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. That was a shot for the cops. Ian, Jesus, Ian. Ian, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're, you're doing like, she's got hot boobs. You, you, you're, you're like just, a doctor there. Your face is right in there. He's just like someone going, I'm not gay, I'm not gay, really, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a little he too a little yeah, look, I love tits. Look, I'm all about them. <laughs> I'm all about them. Do, do, do you have any stretch marks? <laughs> he was really whispering no, to find no out how she got her legs so smooth. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. You, you got an awesome rack. Wow, he sounds like Steve Carell in 40 year old version. Oh, it's like a bag of sand. Awesome rack. I have oh, to agree. Were, oh. It's great. No, that's fantastic. Okay. Do they see that? No, no, no. It's, I'm, I'm they from don't Canada. see that. Look at the nervous yeah. nod of the head. It's horrible. I know yeah. you're famous. They, you know, and I know you're a doctor. I did an American Medical Association search. I didn't see you there. Yeah. But, uh, doc, <laughs> this, but, this but is the type of James doctor that no. we need. <laughs> yeah. Obama's health care plan is in full force. Uh, if you keep talking, eventually something good. <laughs> Maybe if we. What if we. What if we. What if we just edited it all? Just sort of spliced every word together? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Wow, well, Dr. Z, that's terrific. Thank Very you. nice. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. So you can go to Planet Victoria to see more, of oh, course. Yeah, that's right, Ian. Just and one I'm going to be at MDC oh. promoting uh, Sin Energy Drink. Yeah. At the Stadium Club, the new really hot um, $3 million mm. uh, nightclub there. So, oh, yeah? Hey, uh, next Saturday. Did you get married for a, a green card? Was oh, that when I came for shame here at 17, yes. When I was... Uh, did we talk about that on the show before? Oh, Jesus sure Christ. Have, coming coming out of Penn Station. <laughs> so you, you're not still married to this guy? Or no. You? No, I was you, married you, from 17 to 23. If wow. I marry you now, can I get a green card? Because I'm after one. Can we get it yeah, second? Yeah, you one. Wait, you got married? How much money you can give me? Why, <laughs> how, much, <laughs> how much cash will you how give me? Cash. Hold on. Why? If, why if you got married for the green card at like seventeen? Why did you stay in it for six years? It takes a long time, longer than people think. It takes like you have to stay uh, married four for a while. years. You have to get permanent residency, and then you have an interview, and you have to prove it's a bona fide marriage. Boner So it takes yeah, bona fide <laughs> marriage. So yeah, you're getting boned, and you're not just where, where yeah. are you from originally? From Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine. All right. Oh, yeah. We got everyone. That's hilarious. Today. Right, they guys, let, they they let right, anyone yeah, be a doctor in so, Ukraine. I am doctor from Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine, <laughs> very good surgery. Very nice. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I deal do. in the rape. And yes. 
<laughs> I teach about the fucking the of the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you do though, right? <laughs> <laughs> he always does that Ukrainian accent very well. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah I've been in plenty of strip clubs. I think you've been I haven't, tutored. I haven't well. seen an American girl in one of those strip clubs in years. years. Jesus Christ, just one fucking <laughs> Sally. That's yeah, all yeah. I want. <laughs> One fucking Jane. Not a goddamn... Gotta go to Midwest for that. Yeah, for the Jane. Uh, yeah, I just want one fucking American girl when I walk in a strip club. Not... What about and, the Jill? Uh, the money, the money yes. is... Uh... I give you make the sexy dance <laughs> for the money. Yeah. All right, <laughs> fucking make the sexy dance. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. You still you keep coming back. Just outsourcing everything now. I know. Now. I know. Back, yeah, so we got just, like something about. We've it. lost it. That's part of America. We've lost yeah. our strippers. You still, you still got them in the Midwest. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's yeah. where to go. Oh, nice corn big fed, ones. American fucking beef. I, I yeah. would, there was one place, Greensboro, North or South Carolina or something yeah. like that. I went down there, and the guy after the gig took me to the strip club. The most horrific-looking women I've ever seen in my life. And but wait, most horrific, not most terrific. Yeah, no, oh, okay. like most yeah. Horrific. horrific. Okay, but fucking five dollars, and each hour you could get a lap dance for five dollars that yes. included a shot of tequila. Wow. That's right. yeah. that and shit where, where is, is it? This is, in, this is and I'm just like fuck, a bargain's a bargain. The tender trap yeah. down there in Huntington. Wow. Oh. The tender oh, trap. Yeah. I used to go in nice there. Specials. You'd just give the girl a dollar and she'd fucking just shake her shit all in front of you. You could grab <laughs> her ass. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you could grab them. They didn't but care. It's when rich guys came in, make it rain yeah. and all that. I reckon we should all get together and go, look, let's fucking tip them with coins. Put the ball back in our court. Flick a corner at her and go hit the road. <laughs> uh, just see their gusset just chinging along. Is that... We got Joe Rogan now on the phone. Whoa. Holy shit. Wow. It's an all star yeah, fucking radio show today. Joe, Joe Rogan. Hey, How are you, sir? Going down, boy. Having a man. Just talk to your boy, uh, Dana White. Oh, yeah? I'm talking about uh, Chuck up. Liddell and UFC 115. But what are you uh, calling about? I'm calling about that, I guess. Steve told me to call. I'm on my way to the airport. Oh. When did you talk to Steve? He said he's unreachable. Yeah. yeah. He Twittered me last night. And said, call the show? Call the yeah, show. There's not enough guests. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can even fuck things up when I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted an oversaturation. Yeah, it is oversaturation today. <laughs> hey, uh, what, are you, what are you going to Vancouver right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm in a car on the way to the airport right now. Have you been to Vancouver before? Oh, I love it up there. It's I fantastic. hear nothing but great things about this damn city. They have outstanding weed, and it's everywhere. <laughs> and, and Joe strippers. would know, too. That's yeah, like a, really that's a great crazy. endorsement. But you don't smoke before the announcing, do you? No, that's the one time I don't get high. Because when I'm high, I will start. Most of my jobs that I do, it like almost requires me to have like loose thinking and just start rambling about anything. Yeah. You know, like being on stage, that's a good thing. That it helps you ad lib. Yeah. But on doing doing UFC commentary, that's a terrible idea. How many like hours? Uh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry, because some fights could be boring, and in the middle of the boring fight, I might just start talking about space or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go off about that shit. You know what? You, yeah, you, I don't you, trust myself. You got to make a deal with Dana, and, uh, where he allows you to do that one time, one time only. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would trust rule. Me. It's not a good idea. How many hours those out? Fighters. Okay. You know those those fighters. I was just gonna say they those guys. They they train for six weeks. It's just a huge event for them. They got some fucking stoner talking stone pot talk about the universe <laughs> while they're fighting their heart out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it! It, it is. Uh, yeah, Joe would be in there. Hey man, why do they have to fight? You know, yeah. why can't we all just kind of oh, hang man. out? Yeah. Make like, peace not really like, eventually, these guys have to realize, man, that this is like affecting the way they think forever, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe uh, I'm becoming a fan of your podcast. You tweet oh, that shit, that. and then I sit around going, God, when is he going to start this thing? And then, then all of a sudden, he's like, Well. I was going to start at noon, but a, a, a piece broke, so I got to go down the street. I'll be back in an hour. A piece yeah, broke. Oh, yeah. Not he's, nearly as professional yeah. as Anthony set up. It's, so, ah, yes. it's frustrating, though. You're sitting there like, okay, it's, it's showtime, and no, Joe's at a radio shack because something broke. I just, uh, I'm going to start uh, doing mine again um, real soon. I just got a new thing. It's called live text. Specifically, 
this I got it just so I could put a scroll on the bottom that'll say stuff like, you know, uh, caller is a shithead. And it scrolls like the news. <laughs> like, I'll spend $1,000 <laughs> so I could just put, the call is a dick. <laughs> I just keep buying broadcast quality stuff to do dick jokes with. <laughs> an asshole. Yeah. What is the name of the piece of equipment that you use to uh, to, to work your green screen? Oh, yeah, it's a uh, TriCaster Studio. The thing's fucking oh, yeah. amazing. It's a television studio in a little box. Mm. Fucking, I, I have my whole uh, one room in my basement painted chroma key green, and I can make it like I'm anywhere in the world. Yes. Or I'm sitting at a fancy fucking studio desk. Or this way you can have 10 year olds in little green outfits and no one can see them. One of the best times was when Jimmy fucking took uh, the green screen that I used to have before I painted the walls, and I have the, uh, a screen, so it was just laying on the floor. He covered himself with it completely, so he was invisible. And just stuck his bare ass out. Oh yeah! So it was just Jimmy's floating bare ass around the fucking oh, studio. That's a scary oh, that was great. And then I fucked it. Yeah. And then we just threw the, we threw the thing down. They realized it was me, so it wasn't gay. It's not gay, but for the laugh. <laughs> I was going to get one of those TriCaster things, but that's like eight grand, isn't it? They're pretty expensive, yeah, yeah. I usually, every maniac. every couple of months, <laughs> I go for the big buy. Uh, th this month, it was a 50 caliber uh, M107 Barrett rifle. Yeah, I saw the photos online. That thing's ridiculous. Yeah, it, there's no reason to have this thing. None whatsoever. <laughs> <Yeah>. Except <laughs> that it's very loud, and you laugh when you shoot it. But what if you want? Sense. What if you want to shoot somebody across like Long Island Sound? I could probably fucking yeah. reach Connecticut with it. Yeah, Just yeah. Some dick on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw it coming. <laughs> yeah, it's got like uh, a, a mile and a half range. People fuck. have been killed a mile and a half away with this thing. Yeah, so. but that's one of those things. Like you're probably the only guy on Long Island that has one. So yeah. I saw one of those uh, 40, first forty-eight. Some fucking idiot got a fifty caliber gun and shot somebody with it. Oh. They, they found, Eagle. Yeah. yeah, they found them in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm like, okay, right. how many people own one of those? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to commit crimes with like the only weapon in town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking rob a bank in a Duesenberg. Fucking Hey, shit. Uh, well, Vancouver awaits, Joe. Yes. Yeah, I'm fired up. And it's, a, it's an awesome town. I was going to go there if, uh, if the United States got too hairy after 9 11. Oh, really? If the war started breaking out here, that was my plan B. Oh, to right to Vancouver. Vancouver. Please, run to my house. We'll have a pisser. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm waiting for anarchy to kick in. I know in. you are. That's a, I'm running as far away from here as possible. Anarchy you, or zombie invasion, and I'm fucking... You're ready. I'm giggling my balls off. Yeah, he's going to be like Tom Cruise at the end of... Uh, what the fuck is that? It taps. Yeah, it's, it's fucking, fucking beautiful, beautiful, man. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be at the. Deal? We're gonna be at the end of your block waving wild t-shirts. <laughs> friendly, <laughs> friendly. Yeah. Same sign. Same in. sign. Yeah. Coming in. Friendly with the wild shirts. <laughs> <laughs> What's the food and water stored? Yeah. Uh, I am just in my uh, uh, gun closet and a pool in the back to drink out of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> a yeah. pool to drink out of. It's, yeah. Oh. I could store some stuff. I got plenty of beer. I got a couple of kegs downstairs. It's great. Oh. That's all I need. Yeah. Get drunk. Yeah, you got the munitions. You go people. out, you'll take the food. That's it. Exactly. I'm the one that gets the food from the other people. Right. First thing you do There's is you, sh you shoot the neighbor's pet just to set the tone. <laughs> <laughs> Set the <laughs> 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 you ever seen that show? You ever seen that show on Alaska where these people they they're they're forced to live in like a cabin together? Yes. And they have to forage for their own food. Uh huh. Yeah. And there's fucking nothing to eat. <laughs> they they go out all day and they shot a squirrel, but it fell into a hole and they couldn't get it, so they starved. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. Dude, you, you realize how fucking hard it is to go get your own food. Yeah, it's a, it's a handful of ice with piss in it. The snow cone. That show is really fucking creepy. Yeah, it's, it's scary as shit. It's scary as shit when you really consider what would happen if the supermarkets closed down. Oh man, we would. I, we talk about this all the time. Like if the power went out. We were talking about how long would it take if the power went out, like all over the whole world. 
for it to completely break down for the system to it, just it, fucking it break down. Two days. I said two days. No, I said the no, same they thing. Were, they oh, would wait like a week. They would and wait like, a week no and then realize oh, way it's fuck. going a week. Not a week. Three, people days. would lose their mind in, 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 in three days. At the most. first people to go nuts would be bachelors because they got nothing in their fridge, right? <laughs> so they so start the, starving. Yeah, once they yeah, eat yeah. their moldy cottage no. cheese. No, it's no fucking the first people that would go nuts are the people with kids. Because let me tell you something. If you're hungry, that's one thing. If my baby's hungry, I'll fucking kill someone. Bring back yeah, right. parents would start going crazy. But they, they don't know. have that fucking killer instinct. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I yeah. You don't think the so? The kids let them die me? first. My, we my were here. Killer instinct has kicked way in more when I, since I've had. Yeah. yeah. You would just go crazy because oh, you can't yeah. plop them in front of TV. <laughs> Those won't shut up. Yeah, we were like, gonna put put in a Disney video. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, fuck. This kid won't <laughs> shut up. <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> 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 I don't plop them down in front of the TV unless I really, really need to relax. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait yeah. a few more years. You were doing week. it soon. <laughs> what, being stoned 12 hours a day? Sure. Is it relaxing enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt it. I bet he's a good dad. A little spitting back kick if he opens I'm his mouth. I'm amazed how good I am at it. I, I, or how much I enjoy it, actually. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's really, all, all the it's guys. Really pretty incredible. I've seen that shit. Like, my brother, he just oh. turned on a dime. He turned into I, daddy guy. I was saying it's your kid. It's because it's your ah! kid. It's anybody else's kid is annoying as fuck. D Joe, right. I, said that, it's your kid. I said that. Said I said that exact thing to Anthony yeah, before the show said it today. this morning. I still hate everyone yeah. else's kids, but, but man, I'm all in with mine. Oh, yeah. Until you Dude, find out they're not really yours. yours. <laughs> 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 She's killing. She's killing. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, take notes, kill or he'll kill you. It, it's too sad <laughs> yeah. for me that Daddy talks. Yeah, you don't like kids there, Dr. Z? Okay, I, I have two my almost the time when I kill them. Yeah. Oh, you got, you've already got two. Yes. You're in good shape for yeah. when he's throwing two out. Well, they're still alive. They're still alive. Yeah. They're still, still, they're still alive. alive. How old are they? Seven and three. I oh. assumed you hadn't killed them. Years. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think you'd go, I have two kids. One of them's dead. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Surprisingly, and they're still Only alive. lasted a month. Cop death. What do you know? <laughs> Although there was no TV, not sure. Joe, I, I it's, told it's you, Joe. There's uh, at least ten, maybe more. Two, three. Four, all right. Well, four, well yeah, there's like ten or eleven. Having someone on the line then. That's all right. So That's I love right. you guys. Love listening. Always good talking to you. Uh, I'll let Absolutely, you go. Absolutely, Joe. And, okay. uh, and next time I'm in town, Anthony, I'm going to do your show. I'm going to come over. We're I would be drunk. fucking great, man. Come over. We'll uh, do pounce them down and have some fun. And let's fucking shoot something in the water. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Fifty cal right into the pool. Nice. <laughs> Take care, guys. Take See you later, Joe. <laughs> Have fun in Vancouver, Joe Rogan. I like Joe. We got to wrap up, man. A lot of people have been hour. asking. Actually, Andy Levy uh, wanted to go to the range with me. He's like, "Hey, can I want range. to go to the range with you? Let's he do looks it." Looks like a Andy it, Levy it doesn't seem like the kind of guy that would want to get, you know. Go to the range and fire up some weapons, Andy. Yeah. I shake yeah. after I... Sh I've been there once and I shot a big gun. I, my hands were shaking. shaking, after. yeah. Yeah, I'm not... It's not for me. I couldn't own a gun. I'd shoot someone. Would yeah, you? I, people I love as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just... Yeah, I was going to say, kind of look like, like a like, sociopath. I just... The fight I would have, some girlfriend yeah. bang your... I, I'd fill Hartman that shit up on a daily basis. <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, no, I... I, could, I heard that I somewhere. Could, I couldn't have a gun in my house. I'm being serious. Yes, thank you, Frenchie. <laughs> I know, <laughs> Spider-Man. I prefer Spider-Man. 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 neighborhood Spider-Man. Does he swing? Yes, a boom, boom, boom. La, 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 Spider-Man. Fair Jocker. Fair Jocker. Bonjour. For little girls. <laughs> Moulin Rouge. What a creepy fucking French song that is. Oh, yeah. Thank Kevin. For little girls. Cause little girls got all right. Where did you hear that? That's Kevin, all, what's his name? Sharon, who, who did that? Maurice Chevalier. Maurice Chevalier. <laughs> 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 no, this guy right. said. Uh, no, Gerard, Gerard Depardieu sings it in a film. Oh, hell is what? Is Gerard <laughs> Depardieu <laughs> your, your most famous French person? He's probably French person. Yes, yeah. He's probably the best looking one, isn't he? He's really your movie star that you had. We, it's a, he's a big movie star. Uh, I 
think he should get a nose job personally because <laughs> yeah, we were waiting for that out of it, out of this world but then he gets to smell the stinky vagina more accurately than everybody else but that's yeah. true that's and true too fuck it what about no, it's yeah. not a, a lot of women think the bigger the nose the bigger yeah. everything else no really? no no, no. Yeah, the, bigger, the bigger the nose the bigger the boogers yeah. Yeah. It's Carla <laughs> Bruce. the bigger the nose the bigger the yarmulke <laughs> <laughs> the bigger the loan <laughs> Why, why can't they just judge the cock? Why do you have to go to feet and noses? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. You can't Holy see shit. the cock. Yeah, ah, but, no. you can't see but the a cock. girl like you, you don't have to go, oh, he's got a big nose, he's got a big cock, he's got big feet, he's got a big cock. A girl like you just ask to yeah. see the cock. Yeah, see we'll cock. show you. And you'll see it. Z, 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 who do you... But in, in private. Z. He said just ask. But in private, me. you know. Okay. I heard every part of the male body, they'll say, well, that women have said that. Oh, you know, big ears, big dick. It's like, really? Fucking yeah, big yeah. zit on your back. Yeah, let's be a big dick. Big cock. Big cock. Yeah. yeah. So what, yeah. what is big cock? Yeah. Done? You know, what is that? Big yeah. eight? Does a woman big with toe. a big foot has a big vagina? No, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, well, I think no. she has a longer... They say that Asian women who are small in general do have shorter vaginal canal and smaller in general. So. That's because they're shorter. That just yeah. stands to reason. That's just... Yeah. And usually shorter people have shorter feet. Yeah. But, so you're quite a tall girl. So what are you saying? Wow. Yeah. Time. Pretty loose. Loose, 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 loose. Very tight. Evil can evil yeah. ever have a Elevator fake stunt? A, a failed stunt, size. Parachute ever deploy before yeah. he hit the other side? <laughs> <laughs> Elevator Kegels, guys, is the Kegel, key. Kegel, Elevator. Yeah, but you don't know for sure. No man's going to tell you if it's big. Yeah. No. You don't know. You can. I. I have an incredible strength no, because I don't. do kegeling all the time. Yeah, I'm can you crack walnuts? So I can that? actually what squeeze. I can actually make a guy come just from squeezing my muscles. Really? I Which one? Train them. You got to train those muscles. Thirteen-year-old boy. Show us on Anthony. Porno for all the, the whole day. <laughs> what? What? What am I saying? My <laughs> girlfriend. Who, who has a? Z, who has a bigger dick? Let us know. Opie or Anthony? Just look at them. Let it, oh, you know. God. I wish. I'm not that clairvoyant. Oh, right. You're not clairvoyant. I, I'm sorry, Opie, but I reckon Anthony would have a bigger cock out of the two of you. Well, let's vote. Let's see who <laughs> I, 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 I can only go I based, on, I would I can only go based on what happened in uh, Boston. Yeah, the Massachusetts. I think, Massachusetts. I think Anthony has a bigger one, but I'd rather touch Opie's. Yeah. I bet you <laughs> 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 I think Opie probably has bigger balls. I think his balls hang lower. He has a bigger bag. I reckon, he had, I reckon Opie has silky fucking pubes as well. Like oh. that blonde, like really yeah, soft. Blonde, yeah. Silky? Yeah. No, no, no. I, no, no. I, I don't know. I think he should. Cor no. Coarse and red. Yeah. 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 I got yeah. Bill, wow. Bill, Bill, Bill Burr probably knows. Bill just because, I mean, just because he's, he's, yeah. he's got the red Burke, hair Burke, thing Burke, happen. Sienna. Yeah. They look like Montgomery from Fame. <laughs> we do have to get out of here. Yeah, Ron Ron time. Fez, uh, who who do you guys a bigger dick, LeBron James or Anthony? Oh, well, come oh, on. Oh, you got yeah. Yeah. Fucking gotta I give it to LeBron. Yeah, you know, we just gotta compare and find. I'll be to happy to measure you guys. I bet I could bottom like out in you, though. I yeah. bet I could hit cervix. I don't know about that. I bet I could hit cervix. Oh, yeah, yeah. has got a long arm. Oh, she's the biggest one. Huh? She's big and long. Yeah, you're long. She's like the Euro Tunnel. I don't know how long, eh? You the Euro star. One, huh? That's a good one when you bang the bushing inside. <laughs> when you hit the little bushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, love oh. it. I love it. And then they kind of go like, ow. When you hear it, you feel good. I'm when just, you hear happy, like, if, I'm just yeah, happy if I stop. fucking clear the I hair like and hit guys. the lips. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's when you hear that like, cartilage cracking. <laughs> yeah. It's like someone snapped someone's nose. <laughs> cartilage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we got to get yeah. the plugs in. Uh, Dr. Z, we start with you. Ladies first. What do you got going on? I'll be showing my tits in Atlantic City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Bill's oh, a fan of yours, Dr. No, no, Z. No, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing around. I'm, I'm catching a vibe here. I think Dr. Z. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you got going on? I Could you give me a referral to Dr. C? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, the ADC of the stadium club, <laughs> and I fucking. might even show you my tits. I don't oh. know, depending on the mood I am in. I'm going to hmm. be promoting Sin Energy drinks, signing my posters, giving away toys. So really contributing. Yeah, <laughs> contributing to, to society. <laughs> Doctor, yes, Bill. That whole doctor thing is really like it's on the same level of like the honorary degree at this point. Yeah, it's like everybody's yeah. a doctor. Like Doctor <laughs> William H. Cosby. Yeah, you're Jr. a doctor. Yet you're on television and He's, stuff like that. Yeah. That dude with the scrubs. 
<laughs> on Oprah. Yeah. Oh, right. I love how they got to go out hey, and dress like they're jobs. You guys are not, okay? Ooh. Oh, Bill, oh, you're yeah. jealous. I wish I was on TV. Uh, Jesus. No, you're jealous I that wish. she's a doctor <laughs> and you're not. Doctor. Oh, then I'm a doctor. You know, That's exactly yeah. it. You don't That's know it. me. That's, That's exactly there, what it is. Yeah. yeah. I, I could be That's a doctor. Exactly There's some jealousy there, Bill. <laughs> totally. That was the creepiest yeah. look you were giving her, Danny. That's exactly what it is. I like how they have to like dress like their jobs now. Not you. I'm not saying you. I'm saying like that guy, that guy in Oprah. He's the guy be... comes out in the scrubs oh, like he's yeah, going to deliver yeah, a baby. Yeah. Well, just like, in case it's you're... not enough to say that he's a doctor. But he's got to wear the uh, yeah. Uniform. He looks. He actually looks like he's going to a Halloween party. <laughs> dressed <laughs> like <laughs> he's got the stethoscope and all that shit. Just hey, in case you might need it. It turns chicks on, you know. You're what? a doctor. You wear the uniform. Try. Have some pride. You yeah. might want to try it. Wear scrubs. Oh, yeah. what are you saying about Bill Burr? Yeah, you're saying you know just what? lie about our lives. Yeah, just be a liar. Yeah, why don't you impersonate a job that women enjoy? Yeah. How about impersonate a cop? Not. On the door and just yeah. rape them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's true. The oil delivery guy yeah. fucking ravaged the family. Yeah. <laughs> dressed like an old school, dressed like Matlock. <laughs> yeah. You get one of those like big mirror. Whatever happened to those circle, <laughs> circle mirror oh, no. discs? No, no. The old <laughs> mirror on the head that yeah. the doctors used to That's wear. That's really sexy. Yeah. And you what was the purpose behind sexy? that? Sexy. You look like a Marx brother. That was, <laughs> <laughs> I was the only one that had light that when they could shine. It, when you shine down your vagina, it's perfect. Oh, nice. My doctor used to smoke, I remember this, in the fucking office. Like, as you came in. <laughs> like, you'd have an ashtray. But you're, but you're, you're French. British Everyone British smokes like... in France. Yes. 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 In, in yes. France, yes. man, no. people are, like, smoking in cancer wards. Yeah. Like... We don't care. <laughs> Holding it like this. Uh. <laughs> Thank heaven for chemotherapy. Because <laughs> <laughs> chemo makes yeah. me stronger every day. <laughs> we uh, unfortunately have to get out of here now. So, uh, French. Uh, Bill, Bill's at <laughs> yes. Caroline's. Yes, I am. Well, Tonight Bill. and tomorrow, 212 757 4100. And let's yes. not forget the, the podcast you do. Yes. That's a fine podcast yes. as well. Monday, available on Monday, iTunes. Monday morning podcast. Uh, Bill's Monday morning podcast. Jim Jeffries, uh, Stress Factory. I, I, I don't have any extracurriculum things that I do whatsoever. No. Well, <laughs> and, and, the, and the Wilbur Theater for Boston. And the Wilbur show Theater, added. yeah. We, we just put on a, a second uh, show nice. for that. And we just booked in uh, Cl Club Nokia in, in uh, L.A. And that's gonna, I'm going to need to sell some tickets for that. Right mm. the fuck on. Frenchie, you got All anything? Right. No. Thank God. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Chef, you you're good? No. I'm good. Chef. Thank you. I'll be cooking for <laughs> I, I forgot uh, you the guy you. that played soldier number three in Platoon. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do, do you want to know something really naughty about him? He had peanut butter. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that might be the best gig I'll get from now on after uh, this show. Oh, damn. Oh, 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 come on, she on everybody had fun. Out of the bag. You gave up too much today, huh? Toby and his Snickers bar or something. <laughs> Ian Halpern, what do you got? Uh, it's his highest to everybody. And, uh, I have the movie coming out June 25th, uh, 9 o'clock. When are uh, you coming in? Two hours special. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going home with Z. Z and I are going to, you know. Uh, you love my back for, massage it's, so It's much. the first film to play in 50 countries, 50 different languages on one day. It's called Gone Too Soon. I want to thank everyone for uh, being here today, especially Z. And uh, Z, Z. How come you didn't get the rug burn from that? No, you know oh. what? You, you, seriously, you know how to, you got the moves. De definitely. I could say it. First hand right now. Those you feet. Be a you got star. the look. I those want to know feet, better. Those feet, you know. You got the look that's all together. When you together. go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, they're going to shampoo commercials yeah. and plant your feet. Yeah, what are you doing? All right, Baby, man. you're going to make it after all. <laughs> I'm going to make I'll put, I'll put it after all. I'll put you in the movie. I'm gonna, waiting for the line. I'll put you in the movie. Who's going to the Walk of Fame first, me or Anthony? Walk of Fame. Walk of Fame. Walk of fame. What, you think they're just fucking giving these things We're around? Trying. It's only five grand, man. Like if they're giving it out to you, it'll fucking start reaching San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, we're trying to get out of here. Uh, peace out. Peace out. Jimmy, you good? 
Ciao, 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 everybody. I got the Bonjour, sh- talk to All right. Merci, Merci. 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 Shut up. Jimmy hey, Clark. All right, we get it. Team. Throw the white flag oh, up. Michael Jackson. Yeah, Boo. God. Chicago just for last. Vic Theater next Friday the 18th. Uh, I got two shows uh, with uh, Greg Giraldo, The Nasty Show, and then July 2-3, oh. Borgata Casino in Atlantic City. Just make believe that Mike stand is a rifle and get it as far away from it as possible. <laughs> oh, see, I because spit you it guys out. were... See, because they threw long. their guns Cowards. down. Yeah. All right, let's start our weekends. <laughs> Dude, TGIFs are like fucking clubs over there. Like, yeah. They, they party. I just really? think I'd add that to end the like show. That? To yeah. end the show. That's Something a good com- note to end the show. TGIF, yeah. thank God I felched. <laughs> <laughs> let's get out of here. All right.